Hello, everyone. Mm. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope Hello. everyone's having a fantastic day. I had a very chill, nice Saturday. Went to the gym. Mm. Woke up, woke I've up very late. Been away for about an hour, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great. Back great for, for that hour that I've been awake. <laughs> Good. Prime, prime situation to be uh, playing D&D. &D. Mm -hmm. It was great. It was great. Be All right. fresh. Yes, before we get started, some uh, practical stuff. Brit, aka Birdora, is not going to be here today because she had, an, I think, an event that she is at that she bought the ticket for, like, way before Dyson Nisa was even a thing. So mm -hmm. it clashed day, but next time she will be here, unless there's other stuff, but, you know, she's just gone for, the, for today, and that's why there's a stack of books <laughs> where her picture should be, or her camera should be. So, she's taking care of her books, yes. She's, yeah, she's, she's like, somewhere in there. You just can't see her. Mm -hmm. she's yeah, she's somewhere <laughs> in amongst the books, taking care of business. <laughs> um, second order of thing, if you want to ever watch the VODs of Dice and Easy, they are on my YouTube channel, Fun with Fondue. You can find them there. First episode is already there. They, I always put them up on the Monday after our, our streams because we have a 24-hour exclusivity thing with Twitch that we have to uh, honor. So... There's that. And we are also out on all major podcast services, uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, what have you. If there's a podcast service that you use and we're not there and you would like us to be there, uh, just let me know. DM me on Twitter, Discord, whatever, and I'll get it sorted out because there apparently is a lot of podcast services out there in the world. Who knew? Um, I think that's it for all the practical stuff so i think we can jump into the second episode of dice and easy yeah 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 Just put on some music no don't do that i've missed this that. music <laughs> <laughs> i'm just like already i honestly where's already the rat jamming. jam I, we're yeah, back into the it. first few notes and you're straight into it. <laughs> also, uh, oh yeah, I added a um, a new module for Foundry. So now below in the chat, as you can see, um, you are going to see the picture of the person who like rolls or writes in chat or whatever. So it should be a little bit more legible. Also, I added a little chat window over there where the Twitch chat is because someone was mentioning that, you know, watching the VOD on YouTube... Uh, would be nice to see chat so there you have it yeah uh, yeah so getting back to dice and easy what happened last time dear players do you want to give your perspective on what happened we made a teenager a badass mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were hired uh, to protect him but, yeah, uh, but we're in, taking him under our wing <laughs> yeah in the process we did in fact give him a septum piercing and made him a badass. Yeah, didn't we give him a makeover too? Didn't didn't Berdora buy him some clothes? Yeah, we <laughs> oh, just yeah. Mm -hmm. or a cape or things. something. Yeah. A new threads. Yeah. yeah um, new, new clothes that uh in, in included a <laughs> cloak. Oh yeah. yeah. Cloaks because cloaks are cool. Cloaks yeah. are cool. Very, very badass Originally clothes. a cloak, but we decided on a cloak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and then I think um we just are helping him run some errands right now. Uh, and in doing more. so, in doing so, we found out that uh, Hornsworth is the rat god. <laughs> oh, I am mm -hmm. also the rat god. I did, I, yeah. Uh, and also just learning more, I guess, about the dragonborns. I have a few, like, notes on their, I guess, structures and whatnot, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and may maybe we should try to figure out how to... <laughs> About Brick and uh, whether he's actually guilty of his right. thing. Oh, yeah. I, yeah that's, that's important, right? That's I why we're protecting to, him. Is it Quarell, I think? Uh, Blue Scale Dragonborn. That's what I've gotten written down. So yeah, Quarell. I, Quarell was the, Quarrel. um, the Dragonborn that works for Koto Krag Claw. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, and so I'm supposedly going to meet with him, maybe potentially, to talk about Brick. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. in that. Yes, so, last episode, all of you met up in the Rampant Roach Tavern in the slums of Zadash, which is run by a dragonborn named Skirtal. 
and he asked you to take care of his nephew. That's wait, that, is that male? Which one's male? Nephew or niece? Nephew, nephew. You're, yeah, you. you're... yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. nephew, um, Brick, who is suspected of kidnapping a human woman, the daughter of a blacksmith, which he claims that he did not do, and he seems like he didn't do it, and you spent your time protecting him on different errands throughout the city. Mm. So you were first helping him buy some, some ingredients for the, for the evening's food, then you had to go down into the cartways, which are the underground old uh, travel paths that used to be used. Now they are mostly abandoned and they intertwine with the sewers. And they are mostly used by uh, criminals and a lot of other monsters, etc. Roam there, so they're quite dangerous. And you went there to get some giant rats for food. And you also bumped into some goblins, a goblin leader of some sorts, who you were able to scare into thinking that uh, Hornsworth is the rat god. And you were able to get a rat for yourself, who is now at yeah. Hornsworth's <laughs> office. Oh so yeah! Forgot about, forgot about that. Uh, he's our friend. He's taken uh, I believe his Did name is name Raddington. Him? There we go. Raddington, yeah! Uh, I should write that mm -hmm. down. I wrote that down, luckily. <laughs> <laughs> and... You also delivered some food to a ex-rat catcher, a halfling. Hugo, right? Yeah, Hugo. Yeah. You had a nice conversation with him, and then, then you left, and you were also visited... Um, you also visited a goblin by the name of Plisb, who owns oh, yeah. a store called Boomsticks and Bombs, and you got him to pierce Brick's septum. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, then you were on your way, you bought some clothes for, for Brick as well, and in general, you've just been taking good care of, of old Brick, and that was the first f f four days, if I recall? Yeah, I think so. One was yeah, just, like, was... going to the market, and then... Mm -hmm. The cartways was another, and then Let visiting. Let me double check my notes. Hugo, I think, was one. Let me double check. And then this. was Quarrel and Hugo were they separate days? Ah, no, it was, it was the same it was, day. I'm pretty sure it was three days. Sorry, just three days. Three, we're now okay. at the fourth day. Mm, okay. We are now and on the fourth day. Yes, 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 yes. And what adventures we have had in these three days? In just <laughs> three, three days, days, you have Ayo. achieved quite a lot. Quite a lot. Um, so we we start off in the morning of the fourth day. You meet up at the Rampant Roach. Before we get started, um, Cynthia, could you roll a d4 for me? It's just I need to get the health of uh, your familiar, Edgar. Okay. Edgar. It's a four, nice. So four minus one, that is three hit points for Edgar. Edgar's strong. Yes, yeah, but no. Strong, very. <laughs> Crashing yeah. into windows, very strong from that. Very mm -hmm. strong. Oh. First roll, good roll. All right. Um, so you enter into the rampant roach. There's some people having breakfast, and um, Skirtal offers you breakfast as as per usual. And uh, I assume you all have your breakfast. Mm. Extra cup of bean water for me, please. You will get your extra <laughs> cup of bean water, beans, <laughs> beans. <laughs> I love how everyone said that at the same time. <laughs> Perfect. Very good. All right. Brick comes comes to you. Um, are you are you ready? We can go for the today's today's job. I I need to check what what voice I gave Brick because it's been two weeks. I feel like that's all right. I think that's all right. Right. That was it. Yeah. Was it? Hi. Um, yeah, it was that. Brick. It was I that. Do it. It, it, it Very good. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. 
Yeah. No, it's, it okay. Is, it's just what it is. A badass is always ready. In the wrong place <laughs> yeah. the Re time. Really? Yeah. 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 Wow. We're like Boy Scouts. We're always prepared and always ready. <laughs> <laughs> is there is there a badass like a a badass some um, oath like the Boy Scout? Yeah. <laughs> the badass oath. <laughs> yeah, you you only do your middle finger rather than your three finger. Oh my, oh my god. Yes, this is good oath. This is this is true. This is true. <laughs> the badass oath. <laughs> Uh, I'm just very confused, I think. Poor Brick. <laughs> um, okay. Is badass oats something you eat? <laughs> okay, um, no, that should probably just get going, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, no, that... that's something you'll learn when you're older, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm very excited. Yeah, that, that's what happens at the end of your week-long training. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Poor child. So today, so today we um we have to go get something more special. Um usually uncle gets in exotic ingredients from this this one 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 person but uh he is out of town in Rex Centrum. And Rex Centrum is the capital of the uh the Dwindalian Empire. Just FYI, uh, so mm -hmm. he he's uh, he's there. So we have to go to the cartways. There is another supplier there. That sounds good to me. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going lead to lead the way, brick. <laughs> mm -hmm. And as as you're 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 walking to the edges of the the slums into like very deep into the slums, he he mentions you know, the. The exotic ingredients, they are um, a pouch of powdered roach, a bundle of bat tongues, and a jar of carrion beetle saliva. Uh, the huh, what? You know so, what? I'm sure you'll know what we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I know, I know who, who to go see, um, but he's uh, we haven't done business with him that much, but I think he should have that stuff. I think he's some sort of magic man. Oh, different from the lizard lady and the yes. in the in the rat man yes or the raven man yes different people mm, different people okay mm -hmm, magic mm -hmm. man rat man raven mm -hmm. man yes lizard lady yes very good mm -hmm. lizard baby <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> uh, perfect so you spend about a couple of hours first going getting to the getting to the entrance of the cartways and then you, you head down into the cartways and once again it meanders and bobs and weaves into all kinds of different areas and you eventually come to a small hallway that stretches for a, a good while and and you go to the end of it and there is a door that you go to and this is where I pull you into the map mm -hmm. map time map time Yay. just give me a second and I shall get you all in a lickety split Mm-hmm. And then I should get brick in as well. Then we go bam. Oh snap, the old ones are still here. Hold on. Uh let me get rid of those. Actually, sorry. There we go. Okay, okay. so sh should see over here. Uh, Everything be dark for me. Oh, oh right. okay, I see it. Oh, it's down. At, you have to. I had to like scroll out and then move the screen down. There we go. Because I was oh, still centered yeah, yeah. around the. Uh, yeah, sorry. Old I, area. I yeah, yeah, I forgot there to remove your your. 
tokens from there. I'm let blind. Me just, let me switch for Okay, the, do you not see for... anything? Oh, man. I do you now. Should, I do now. You oh, should okay. be able to see now. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right. So you arrive at this door. And... You arrive at the door and Brick walks over to it and knocks on the door. But there's no answer. Mm. And, he got, this... and he kind of looks back to you and he's like, uh, it should okay. be here. I move here. See yeah, down you, the hallway. Uh, he, he knocks again and he's like, Hello? Is anyone there? Have you had these sort of issues before where people. I don't know. This is a new contact, but I was. New uncle, uncle said he should be here. And then Brick tries the handle and. And he's kind of surprised, looks back and he's. And the door opens a little bit. Should we go in? Maybe. maybe. You, you know, we. I think that we could do that, but maybe you should not go in first. Okay. Please, I would agree with this. Uh, uh, you know, come here, come here. you're okay. still yes. badass in training, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's send the rat god in first. Yeah, the I, rat I, god. I agree with this. I agree. The, the rat god can go in. Yeah, absolutely. Hello. God of the <laughs> yeah. Um, Can I go up? Oh, hold on. Can I, um, like, peer my head in and kind of, like, see if I can see any, like, obvious traps? Mm, you can open the door. and then Oh, you, yeah, I'll, op I'll open the see, door. Yeah, yeah. You open the door and you see inside, and let me describe to you what you see. Mm. So you open the door, and from where you can see, it looks to be a some kind of workspace though you can't really see that much from there mm -hmm. you can see that there's some kind of table there across from you okay um in this like right in in the doorway it does it seem like there's like any uh you know what i'm just gonna i'm not a rogue i don't it's fine i'm just gonna i'm gonna walk in Okay. You <laughs> walk God fears in, nothing. and as as you you walk in, the smell of decay hits you. Nasty. And you look to the left, and you see a work desk there, mm -hmm. and That's there is a human here, right? corpse. Yes. Oh. Oh. There is a human uh. corpse there. Um, hey, Brick. Uh, just uh, curious. When did your uncle talk to this contact? I don't know. He just like told is me. he like how new is is this new contact of yours? I mean, very new, but he's been in the city for a, a while. I, I've heard of him. I just, you know, he seems to be rather indisposed at the moment. Um, what does indisposed mean? He's dead. <laughs> and Brick looks like shocked. He's like, oh. oh. Um, I'm also shocked. <laughs> and you know, I was gonna, I was gonna sugarcoat it, but I feel like living in the city, you're gonna see your fair share of. You know, especially when you, if you're in the cartways a lot, you'll, but might as well be blood. He's, he is, no, uh, this man is no longer alive. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, can I go in and just do a, like, uh, maybe I can, like, motion for, like, everyone to kind of, like, stay mm -hmm. where they are, uh, and, and just go in and do, like, a cursory glance. To, like, I guess just, like, see if there's any signs of struggle or, mm hmm just give the door me was... one second. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
There we go. All right. Um, so you go in to see a little bit closer to what's going on here. And you notice that the alchemist who is uh, dead over here. And now that you get closer, you notice that there are a lot of alchemical substances within this room. So you can gather that this person was indeed into alchemy and some sort of magic mm. stuff. And you notice that he's on the ground, lying, lying face first in the ground. Uh, but you notice that next to his hand there is a key and the dagger close to him and also a note. Okay. Um, I would love to, I guess, pick up the note. And, um, uh, I guess, I don't know if I have gloves. I would love to have gloves. I don't actually, it's just, there's no forensics in this. I can pick up the note, never mind. There's no does forensics. Care the rat king doesn't need to worry rat about gloves. Does not need gloves. Yeah. I'm, yeah, like, yeah, well, listen, yeah. I'm a private investigator. I, you know, it's. <laughs> you're, a, you're a hardened professional, so you move closer. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I moved you over there. Um, all right, let me see. As you get closer to the close to the table, all of a sudden you hear a boom, and something moves on the table. It's a huge it's a big glass canister and within it there seems to be some kind of ooze, some kind of stuff, liquidy looking stuff that is moving and sloshing around. Is it pretty contained in the contain in, in the container? <laughs> is Currently, the container yes. doing its job? Okay. Yes. The blob. Um. <laughs> um it's it's a gray kind of liquid. Um do, would I recognize it in any way of like would I know what this this substance is? Roll a nature check. Man, I've never been outside the city. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen. Um, you have heard of oozes. Uh, you mm. know that they are they are creatures that live yeah. in cities. There are different types of oozes. This could be one of those. Okay. Um. Right. In a second. And. You go down and reach down to grab the note. Mm -hmm. And the note reads as follows. Bartleby. This place was well worth the gold it cost to renovate. The, Lith the Lycanthropes north of here are resourceful lads and have already brought me subterranean regions. Components it would take months to find on the surface. I have a good feeling about this grimy little workshop, despite the foul odors of the neighboring burrows and the ranting of those madcap goblins. I have noticed unsavory activity in the warrens east of here, hooded fellows who steal about in odd hours of the night, and I fear other monstrosities have taken up residence in the tunnels nearby. Send your best man at once to dispatch some old hometown justice. My coin is good. Grantham. Okay, grand. Grantham. Um, so, uh, can I just, like, call out to Brick? Um, sure. and be like, what What was your contact's name? Grantham. Oh. He, he comes oh, closer. So and as you do that, you, <laughs> boom, you hear another, like, the the ooze. Okay. Thumps um, against the, the table again. Uh, hey, Brick. You're yes? a badass, right? You're a badass. Yes, and you're I'm quite badass. large, I would say. You're he's, pretty... a teenage, he's a teenager, so he's in that weird phase of, like, he's had growth spurts, but... The proportions are a bit off, a bit you know? off. But, like, you could, in theory, like, put yourself on top of that container to make sure it doesn't escape kind of thing. And just, like, sit on it for uh, a second while we figure I out what to do. I would rather not. I mean, oh, it, it, it's, it. it's, it's, the lid seems to be secured. Like, it's, it's not pushing on the lid. It's pushing on the side of the glass oh. container. 
it's kind of like How pushing towards you. How big is the glass you. container? Um, let me see. It's fairly large. Like, it, I'd say it covers like one third of the 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 the, the um, um table. Um, could I? Okay, if we, you know, if we all got together and moved this thing, we could put it on the ground so that it doesn't fall off the desk and shatter the container. That like, maybe just, like, tuck it against the... Could. We could try? Could we... Could we try? You, you can watch it. like can. a squat. <laughs> yeah, we, we could try. Listen. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. I think between the four of us in Brick, I think we could move it. I feel like we could yeah. move it. Absolutely. Yeah, let's um, uh, hope we don't trap it. I mean, yeah, the, well, four people easily can can like yeah, lift it and okay. put it on the ground. It, it doesn't. I just want to put it like under. Uh, yeah. I just want to like put it under like I think the desk maybe is best, yeah, and can then we that. can like put the chair on its side and like you know wrap it in there <laughs> so it can. Oh, the like, chair oh. on its. How are you <laughs> putting like, the chair okay, on its no, side? Okay, listen. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a door. Wait. Wait. What? It's a glass jar. It's a, oh, it's a jar, not like a. I don't know why I'm thinking of like an aquarium tank. And I was like, we're just gonna use well, the chair it's, and it's like paint it it's against a, the wall. It's a container, but it's not that huge. It's not like a. It's not like a. <laughs> okay. A door. It, it's a we'll glass container. Yeah, you can put it on the ground, and you put it on the ground like, uh, two of you put it on the ground, and it's thub. It thumps again against the glass. The glass has a small crack for a minute now when it did that. Oh, no, oh, this is not what oh, I wanted to have. Oh, I don't want to deal with this. Um, uh, is there... <laughs> Just spitting, spitballing ideas, because I don't mm -hmm. want to deal with this ooze. I don't want to deal with it. Um, <laughs> what, is there other places, like, nearby? Like, how close are we to, like, the goblin area? Not close. Oh. <laughs> not close, okay. Nope. You went in a completely different direction. Okay. And we don't know anything. Okay, you know what? No. Um... I... We should just... One of us should well, just pay attention, because it's going to break out of that thing, and I don't... It's, there's no way that... I don't know what to do with this ooze. <laughs> yeah, I think I would start kind of looking around and seeing if there's like any journals or anything to indicate mm. what this ooze might be. Okay, like so a... you look on the desk and it's a very cluttered desk. But you should roll a perception check actually. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pocket that note that I found. Yep. It says. You got the note, and then there's still the... Um, what was what other stuff was on the ground? Hold on, there was a, a dagger a and dagger, yeah. a key. Mm -hmm. I'll also... I'll just grab the th those three things and... What does dagger look like? Oh yeah, I can... If you want to Congrats on the Nat 20. What the hey. fuck? Hey. Oh. Hey. Ooh, nice. By the way, we have a Nat 20 uh, BTTV emote. So if you want, chat wants to spam oh. Nat 20s, then go for it. Um. So yeah, you. That's the one. So you deftly notice through the the cluttered surface that there is something. Something nicer looking there, and you kind of you your eye catches it immediately, and then you grab it, and it seems to be a leather bound grimoire. And as you open to have a look, it seems it has arcane runes in it, and you cannot read it. Also, of course. But perchance someone in your party could. Hmm. Does anyone read arcane runes here by any chance? I don't know. 
I would say so, it between, it between me and Jotun, but I think it because I think it might be Jotun. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it might be a Cynthia vibe. Yeah, you definitely can read arcane uh, runes. You're a oh, wizard. I didn't know if that was. Yeah. Yes. That's your jam. Loving that. That's your jam. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then I will. I uh, try to read the the runes. Then. So you um, grab the book. Move in. Yep. You okay. can move in. You can move in, and uh, you grab the book, and you're like, "Oh yeah, this is a wizard's. This is a wizard's spell book." Like you know immediately. You're like, "Yeah, you have one." Um, yeah, it's a wizard spell book, and you can actually copy those spells from that spell book to your own spell book. Yo. Oh, okay, I will. I will oh. for sure do mm -hmm. that. <laughs> so I'm. I'm straight. gonna add that to your inventory so that I don't forget. Um, so each, is powering up. Copying each the, spell yes. though costs yeah. money. Copying each spell costs money though. Um, I don't remember the exact mm. cost, but uh, it is. A fair amount of money per spell because you need to buy specific um, ink to write the copy the spells over. You cannot just use any old ink. You need the nice kind, the special mm -hmm. kind. Mm-hmm. What was the guy's bell name? Ink. <laughs> it's the badass ink. Exactly. Yeah, you need badass ink. <laughs> ink. Precisely. <laughs> to write it down. Just a second, I need to copy paste some stuff. There we go. But yeah, you, you notice that there are spells, but you know that you would need some you need time to kind of go through the book and see what these spells actually are. Because um every wizard writes down the spells in their own way. They use their own notation uh own notation system and their own flair. Every wizard's spell book is unique. It is specific to them. So you notice you're like, yeah, this is a spell book, though it is different to yours. So you would need time to study it to know what, what is inside of it. And you also notice as you are flipping through the pages that there is... There's a note folded and tucked away inside the pages. And the note says, These organisms, so perfect in their design, transcend these material realms. And with my perfect supplication, I have so delicately pierced the veils between worlds to render the ever-living whole and new. Even now, it hungers in its primordial youth. Long live the new flesh. <laughs> Necromancy. Oh. I, uh, you would guess I, 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 that this is this probably necromancy related, because yeah, it is a school of magic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. And thub, again, the ooze mm -hmm. pounds against the glass, and the crack grows bigger. All right, thoughts mm. and opinions. What if we just left? Uh, also, some <laughs> other some other <laughs> stuff <laughs> on the desk. Um, where was it? Ah, here. There is a jar of alchemist fire. Or it is a yellow liquid, I should say. Um, swirling in it. And then two, two vials of a green liquid. And a vial of red liquid. I might uh, grab one vial of that green liquid and see if I can find out what it is at some point. Uh, okay, you grab one. Um, hmm. You would have to you'd have to roll an intelligence check to see if you know what this is. Okay. Or hold on, actually, let me double check something. Yeah, intelligence check. Yeah. Do I just click intelligence? Yeah, or? just uh, there should be like the modifier. So when there's intelligence, there's the 
uh, the one that's like gray on a gray background. That says mod. When you hover over it, you click that one. Sorry, I'm like. No worries. There you go. Another nat 20! Hello? Oh, okay. Hello? 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 I'm awake now. What the fuck? <laughs> this is just how it's gonna be the whole game. Don't worry oh about it. Oh my god. Mm, rigged? Question mark? <laughs> Question mark? No, it can't be rigged. It's a machine. Machines can't be rigged. Mm, rigged. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so you, you open it up and you go to smell it and you, immediately this kind of acrid strong smell burns your burns your your nostrils and you pull away and you're like that's acid oh i love that it burns your your nostrils you're like ah, nope that's that is a not the acid. fun kind not the fun kind no <laughs> not the one your mom Do warned I you about need this <laughs> <laughs> I kind of I want it. I kind of want it. Yeah, you can, just, you can grab it. Know. I just want one. I just want yeah, one. Know. I don't need two. It's fine. Hmm? You're not taking the other ones. I mean, we'll take the other ones. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do what you want. I think uh, these two green vials are acid, just so you all know. I don't know about the other vial. Mm. Let's see if I can find items. There you are. Acid vial. There you are. Exactly what I needed. Just so. spicy juice. Yeah, I can take the, <laughs> the second spicy. one if if you want. Um, mm -hmm. Boom! There you go. You have an acid vial, and then Hornsworth, you wanted the second one. Yeah, I'll pick the second. Uh, yep. I'm gonna right. pass off the dagger. Um, Galena, would you, per perchance, like to? I don't know. Look at this. See how you feel about it. You make jewelry daggers, or just they're just jewelry, the, the jewelry of weapons. I don't know. Here you go. I kind of just give yep. words worth look like Ju jewelry and weaponsmith. Uh, very different, but mm, yes, close I will enough. Pay. In very my different. little brain, very <laughs> is good as fine. I just nod. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. And I, I, I would like to look at it because I'm curious I'm, if there's any. You have any a look, and it's. Um. Yes, it is a silvered dagger. Silvered dagger. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So it is. It's quite nice. It's like, it is. It is nice. Listen, you melt that silver down, and then you have silver for jewelry. It's perfect. It's fine. It's that's how things to, work. I do just want to like kind of like, show this to Brick because I know he had a missing dagger. I just want to <gasps> ask him. Mm. I, uh, I, 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 I do. Yep. I, I, I do want to ask. Uh, this it doesn't is? happen to be your dagger. Right. That would be it. that would be far too convenient. Right. He takes it. No, it is. It's not my dagger. No. Okay. Mine In that case, I'm gonna nicer. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> yeah, you can you keep certainly mine. keep it. <laughs> mm, I just because like We're that's the old that's like the main thing I remember is like his dagger was found with the, mm -hmm. the thing and that. Uh, you are uh, not wrong. Where do I have the weapons here? I forget. Yeah. Yes. Uh, A blade that is more fitting for my small self, but I still mm. probably won't use it. <laughs> Why use small blade when I can use great sword? Yeah. <laughs> Big blade better. I would like to rage stab with dagger. <laughs> exactly. It's doable. <laughs> Listen, I would have passed it off to Berdora, but ah, there she's is. a little indisposed with her books at the moment. Wait, is dagger? Oop, that's not what I meant to open. Is dagger with one G? No. Two, Two right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why can't I find a dagger? Oh well. Um, unrelated. Do you also have a like transcript of the note that yeah, I, I can, I can at some point? I, uh, yes, I can hand it out to you later. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Because I, I, I have to read things sometimes to understand. Totally get it. Yeah, no, I don't. And then also, like, if you want to refer to it later, then it's mm -hmm. also a lot easier that way. And, is it safe yeah. to assume um, that know. Hornsworth read the note out to us, or is Hornsworth the only one that knows what's in the note? Uh, I Hornsworth probably would have read it out. Okay. Mm. I'm just wondering, because I, I just want to know what Galena knows versus what I know now. Yeah, yeah. I think it's that I would have 
probably just been like, I found a note here and then like kind of, it would have been like a thing to be filed again, like filed away for later. Mm -hmm. uh, where okay. it's like, you know, we'll have a little debrief session. <laughs> oh, professional. Yeah, we're, we're going, we're going to church. Confess our sin. <laughs> Badasses <laughs> confess, all right? The church of badassery. Yeah. Listen, I don't know, I'm the god. <laughs> no, I'm the god. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're beginning to think they're a rat god. <laughs> um, there we go. I added the silver dagger to you. Cool. Nice. And while... Th actually, no. That, that would not be the case. Well done. My thoughts are we file out of the room. We close the door. Oozes except, can't get through doors. You don't because <laughs> boom, <laughs> the glass shatters Yo. and Yo. the ooze is out. No, mm. not the ooze. That was unexpected. I didn't expect wow. that. Wow, who could have seen this coming? Everyone at home, no. did you expect that? I certainly didn't. We completely <laughs> ignored it. Why would it, why would it break out? No. Yeah, no, you know, I was really trying to, mm, just was hoping that we wouldn't have to worry about it, but here we are. <laughs> Alas, you will have to worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Fine. let's, Hopefully. combat time, baby. Heyo. Woo. Roll for initiatives. It should ask you now to roll. Did it ask? No. No. Uh, no. Hmm. That is very weird. Why doesn't it do that? The macro should specifically do that. Four nat twenties on initiative. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> uh, wait, I mean, so doing? far, most of our rolls have been max rolls. <laughs> it's been did a good it, day until. It's did it ask no now? Going there, to we be. there we go. Yeah. yeah. I just Yay. All right. Ugh, yeah. the way that it won't tell me but until we've all rolled. It's a surprise. All right, yeah. let's... And I always go last! I hate... It's okay, you're you're the <laughs> finisher. You finish off for us, yes? You're, you're, oh, I, you're a poor brick in Hornsworth. Oh, I, I genuinely... I think I'm just cursed <laughs> on initiative. I don't think I have ever properly rolled a very good initiative in any game I've ever played. <laughs> That's sad. All right. It's my, my curse. Top of the round... Cynthia, you are up first. Or actually, Cynthia and Eve uh, Evelyn, you have the same initiative, so if you want to swap around, it's up to you. Would you like to go first? Oh, then? I don't care. Sure, I can go first. Why not? Hold on. Uh, okay, then I can... Let me just do that. Now I can go. So, Evelyn, the Grey Ooze is under the table at the moment. And it is waking, making its way, kind of oozing about, as it were. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight to Sacred Flame. I think we're just gonna mm -hmm. see what we can do with this. Yep, yeah, you can certainly do that. Um, yeah, if you can just pop that into the chat, so I can, I can do that because it it ignores cover, so. So if you if you can click it into in in your character sheet so that it comes into the the chat so I can use it. There you go. Thank you. So, gray, gray ooze rolls. It rolls a nine. Does not succeed. Roll for damage. Ew. Ooh, wait, there's how a damage, do I roll for damage? There's again? a damage button in the chat where there's your sacred flame. There you go. One point of oh my God. radiant damage as <laughs> Delicious. You, you bring down the fire and it singes the edges of the ooze. Uh, one damage is one damage. 
Love that. It has mm, a little burnt. I don't have any... All I can do is move, right? Yes. Only thing you can do now is move. I'm going to say since it's under the table currently, it cannot attack you yet. So yeah, you can you can move around as you see fit. But yeah, you have a you have a shield and weapon, so you're in a fairly good position. Yeah, I'm just gonna move back just slightly. You just have to move one what, back because uh, brick, it, is. brick is there where you're where you want to go. Oh, so you right, can, right. You either move to the side or one upwards. Yeah, cool. Okay, and that's your turn then. So then, Cynthia. Okay, um, I'm gonna do ray of frost. Sure. Um, the ooze is going to get a plus two because it is partially covered to its to its uh, armor class. I mean, so yeah, just target um, it and go for the attack. Okay. Uh, it's T for target. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is a ten. That is just enough to hit. <laughs> yeah. Even yeah, though yeah, it is yeah. it is under the table, you manage to kind of duck down and boom, blast that ray of frost. So roll for damage. There's a little damage button in the, the chat. Oh, yeah. Eight points, max damage. Yeah, well, done, well done. Very damage, good. max damage. Very good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but as as the the ice hits the ooze, it kind of freezes over, but then breaks, and the ooze kind of, due to its liquid form, it doesn't seem to take as much damage from the Ray of Frost. I was hoping it would freeze up. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems to be resistant to that in particular. And then in turn, right? Uh, yes, you can, you can still move if you want. Um, okay, uh, I think I will stay here just because I do cool. have some ranged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, that is your turn then. And then Evelyn already went, so Galena, it is your turn. <clears throat> well, you know, I would like to rage perhaps so I can you smack rage. this thing. <laughs> I need Unfortunately, rage. you cannot, you can't, it's... Well, you can attack it, but it's going to get a plus two to its armor class because uh, it's currently under the table, so it is That's a fine. tad difficult to hit. But you can roll for damage. So you hover your mouse over it and uh, press T on I, your keyboard. I do, I do not think about these things when I am when I am <laughs> raging and I'm trying to smack. <laughs> trying to smack with great sword over through table at small ooze. It's fine. It, it'll be fine. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Did it roll? Nat one. Oh. oh. <laughs> It is fine. It's fine. It will oh, be okay. No. Yeah. You know, Galina so, does, not, does not think these things through. It's okay. <laughs> what happens is you're having a hard time seeing the ooze. You're raging. You're like, fuck this. And you, you, you swing your sword. You smash the table, broken. Like, goes in, in two and the debris flies down. Uh, but you seem to have missed the ooze in your uh, your rage. If table is broken, no longer has cover. Yes. No, it's it still kind of <laughs> has cover because it, it broke it. in the middle like this. Like you it know, was it was worth it, asking. <laughs> it was worth asking. I'm not gonna Fair give enough. you that with a nat one. So just to clarify that it's resistant to cold is what we were saying yes. earlier, right? Or mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that is your turn then, unless you want to do it. No, you use your bonus action already. <laughs> rage then it's the ooze's turn mm, ooze. <laughs> no. mm, why did you say it like that <laughs> yep. don't worry about it it's fine <laughs> all right the ooze is going to slide out un from under the table and it is going to attack Evelyn. Expected. So it, the ooze kind of just slips under it and it moves in a weird liquidy manner. Uh, you are not used to an enemy of this kind and it 
slams towards you. Um, excuse me. That is a 16 to hit. Does that hit you? How it, uh, how would I know if it hits me? You can see the shield in your, uh, your character sheet. And if it's... Ah, uh, it just hits, because I'm 16. Oof. Then it hits you for... Uh, three points of bludgeoning damage and seven points of acid damage as it slams into you. Uh, it, it all of a sudden moves very quickly and forms into like a clump and slams into your chest and then bounces off. And that means, hold on, how do I apply the damage again? Uh, I can use this, right? No, that didn't work, did it? Oh shit, <laughs> you are unconscious. I am? Oh. Yep. Oh. It slams into you and boom, you, you fly to the ground boom, boom, and you are unconscious. Um, and on top of that, your weapon takes permanent damage as your weapon was in the way and uh, it takes a minus one to all damage rolls now. Oh, love that. Yep. So Who's I will... is? <laughs> uh... So yeah, you are down. This is fine. We can make this work, yes? <laughs> it's Brick's uh -huh. turn next, and Brick is like shocked seeing um, Evelyn down on the ground, unconscious. Uh, Brick is just stunned and uh, doesn't do anything. Hornsworth, it is your turn. Brick, that's not what badasses do! <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, I... Um, uh, are, so what happened to the rest of the potion bottles on the table? Are they still they there? They are... They're broken? on the ground now. They're not broken, though, but they're just on the ground. Okay. Um, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to back up to okay. here. Mm -hmm. You can, you can back um, up. Next to, oh, wait, where, oh, Evelyn's there. Yep. Down for the count. Um, actually, I'm going to, can I use my action to pull Evelyn, like, back over to this corner? You can, but the ooze would get an attack of opportunity because you're moving her out of her, out of uh, space out next of to it. That's fine. Are you sure? Because if it hits, it's an automatic. I know, healer. <laughs> I know it's an. I know it's an, auto, it's an automatic failure. But if she's right next to him, yeah, you're right. Gonna, you're right. Um, I. Oh, <laughs> we need your books. <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay. Um. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll pull her out and put her into the corner. Uh, like, or I guess however far I can get. Um, you can go like five, 10, 15. Yeah, you can get like here and then she'll be here. That's but, fine. But also note that the gray ooze gets uh, advantage on the attack roll. Because she is unconscious, if you do this. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna roll. I'm rolling a decision dice for myself. So there were uh, also there were different bottles, by the way, that you saw on the table. One of them was the acid that you picked up, and there was a yellow liquid and a red liquid as well. Uh, I I feel like it would take more time for me to discern what those liquids are rather than. <laughs> Yeah, you, you uh, can take an action to try to find out like what one of them is, and then you can use a bonus action to um, like make someone drink it or drink it yourself, or you yeah, depending on what it is. Um, I'm making I'm rolling a decision dice for myself. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Uh. Just at the bottom of the chat thing, there's dice. Yeah, there. I'm trying to. Uh, I always have to like make sure I. Uh. 
Okay. And then, do I just do... Okay. I'm gonna look at the bottles. Okay. <laughs> Instead. So, uh, we can basically say that you didn't move. Uh, we can yeah. Just do... Where is it? There you go. Whoop. Mm. So that that made you not move. Okay, mm -hmm. so you, which one do you grab, the yellow or the red one? Uh, I'll go red. Okay, uh, roll an intelligence check for me to see what it is. You recognize it. Come on, uh... Rat God, you have this. <laughs> Let's go. All Seven. right. It <laughs> smells pleasant. <laughs> Has a very like pleasant smell to it. Um, not it doesn't smell too bad. That's all. Oh you know. my god! How nice smart smells. am I? How smart am I? I'm doing another decision roll. I'm sorry. I. <laughs> this is hard because I I don't have a lot of attack options here. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna give it to Evelyn. Cool. You I'm gonna go sweet smelling. Good enough. <laughs> you you <laughs> rush you rush um over here, so. Yeah. so you rush over there, and then you're like, smells sweet, and then you, you shove it in her mouth, and uh, you give her a healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Played Russian roulette with my life. <laughs> it was calculated as fuck. Uh, let me see. Potion of healing. How much is that? It's 2d. Yeah, so roll 2d4 and then add 2 to it. Well done, Hornsworth. Well done. Um, that's a- that's not a d4. That's a d4. It's, it's the triangle one. It's the triangle! Um, 6 plus 2, right? So, uh, Evelyn gets 8 points of healing, and ah! you are conscious again. Thank god. <laughs> oh, just in time for your turn again. Literally making me like oh almost my kiss myself. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that ends your turn. Empty bottles now. <laughs> I, for my for my bonus action, I would like to just yell "fuck." <laughs> yeah, you do that. <laughs> uh, okay, top of the round, Cynthia. It is your turn. Oh, okay. I thought Evelyn. Oh. Okay. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, Evelyn before you. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Sorry, sorry. I forgot the, that you switched the order. So, Evelyn, you can get up. That's half your movement speed, and then you're back on track. Sweet. I'm just looking to see. Um, I'm just going to use Cure Wounds, because I think... Uh, or or um, am I good to do that? Uh, you can do it, but you're only missing one health point, so... Okay, okay. Never mind, actually. But um, um, if you want... You can, you have like damage spells, you have inflict wounds that you can use on the enemy if you want. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm gonna. Um, I gotta click on the thing. Okay, well. Yeah, you gotta target it and then you click on the thingy and then you attack. All right, don't fail me now. Do I just roll normal for inflict ruins? Yeah, right? normal. Okay. Normal roll. That is a oh, 22. Okay. Definitely hits. Roll for damage. Ew. Twenty-six points hey, of necrotic damage. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm like, don't you dare, <laughs> Evelyn. Ever you do get that up again. and with like a, a a burnt armor and weapon and with holy light beaming from your eyes, you you punch your hand into the middle of the gray ooze and it just and uh, yeah, it's dead. Thank God. <laughs> Fuck, fuck this shit. <laughs> it uh, disintegrates into the ground. Like, 
I am, in fact, a little turned on. <laughs> I, I turn I over to Evelyn and I'm just like, that was very impressive. I just look over at Hornsworth and I give him a little wink. <gasps> I am very turned on. <laughs> <laughs> Be like everyone look away sorry it's sorry <laughs> let me just put on the right yeah, i'm just sweating right now <laughs> also thank you galena i appreciate that i did not, i did not take you for one to uh to to embrace your rage i i yeah. appreciate <laughs> brick now that right there brick that's badass we gotta work on your combat skills, Brick. Uh, uh, we gotta... yeah. Oh, 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 I, I, uh, um, uh, 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 yes. It's, 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 a never... slow, it's a slow process. That's okay. You know what? It's good. What, 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 what was that thing? Ooze. Ooze? Ooze. Ooze. Ooze is not that <laughs> Did Cynthia actually ever tell us, um... If like what uh, she read in the book was called new flesh, or did we? Did you read that out to everyone, Cynthia? Uh yes, I would, I would believe so. Yeah, <laughs> like okay. I could. So you you know all this information, Sweet. and so... now yeah, you have a broken table there that Galena nicely. My only it's... contribution. <laughs> Ayo. Is there like anything left of the ooze, or is it like gone? There's a little puddle. Uh, Could I, like, scoop that up into the, the bottle that I gave the drink sure. the, the health potion Yeah, for? sure. You have a vial I want the of ooze, ooze residue. residue. Yeah. Ooh, new potion. Yeah, you, listen, sometimes you never know. Um, Perhaps you can imbue your belly button piercing with it. I don't, I, listen, it was more so for no. investigative purposes. Yeah. Right, right, okay. But, you know. <laughs> but if we don't need it. I'm adding, sorry, I just modified your, your weapon, Evelyn, so that it's minus one to damage now, because it is now okay. slightly corroded. Cool, great. Uh, I, darn I, it. Man. Who's it? Um, Evelyn, what kind of weapon do you use? Just like... It's a mace, right? Yep. Okay. It is a mace. Just for, I guess, future reference for when we have to get you a new one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's gonna be a thing. Um... So I, I know I picked up a key. Is there, does it look yep. like, because now, you know, the immediate threat of the ooze busting out is now, oh, now gone. It's, you know, the immediate the ooze threat is of, dead. The immediate threat <laughs> of the ooze is my concept album name. The immediate threat <laughs> of the ooze. Um. <laughs> uh, you have a look and you're, you're like, oh yeah, there's the other table here as well. You yeah. kind of forgot about it as you're focused on the corpse and the, uh, the other table that mm -hmm. you were at that is now broken so you go to the the table yonder and as you as you get close to it there are small glass jars and they all of a sudden just like move and oh. you see in in the glass jars there are there's a goblin hand a four-fingered human hand and a tooth studded tongue that start to move. A hand fetish. Cool, great, love that. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, like the the jars start to move. Is it like, or like? The, no, they start to move in the jars. In the jar. Ooh. Mm. So the hands are moving, and then the tongue that's studded with teeth also is moving. It's really gross. Uh, are they moving? Like, if I back away, do they stop moving? Yes. And then. Can I use Mage Hand with the key, mm -hmm. and it's and then the, and and move the key closer to them? Sure. Is, Nothing happens. I see if that what does anything, or if it's no. my presence itself. Okay, it, cool. The key it's doesn't me. do anything. It's you. Okay. It's they seem to react to if someone is close to them. So they're thumping at the glass and clawing, but they don't seem to um they don't seem to be able to like break it as well they're too weak oh okay so i feel a little <laughs> listen you know i just fought something to bust it out of a jar i'm a little a little wary i don't have to fight a hand too 
Um, <laughs> there... um, the table is like cluttered with all kinds of ingredients. It seems mm-hmm. like this table has more like different ingredients of uh, different kinds, spell components, possibly. Uh, okay. I maybe I'm gonna call over Cynthia and Evelyn and just so I guess be like I don't know. Listen, yeah, I, would like I, I don't to know how your magic works, but I think I you know either of you may need spell components of any sort. Uh, because I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to look through I'm some of that. Because I'm pretty sure for the most part. Mm-hmm. I don't need a lot of materials for mm-hmm. me spells, so. Um. Yeah. Is there... It's just, like, the spell components in those jars on the table? Yes. Okay. Um... I... Hmm. Can I look around? Is there any, like... Like, what are the walls made of? Are they, st- like, stone walls? Stone. yeah. Okay, stone. and it doesn't look like there's, like, potentially any, like, false stones or something that would, like, lead to... Roll an investigation check. Okay. Mm, where are you at? You're here. 13? Roll for shit today. <laughs> doesn't seem like there is. It seems very solid. You're, you go through, throughout the room's walls, and, yeah, they seem, they seem mm. solid. Could I look into this? I'm assuming this is a barrel. I'm just kind of, at this point, I'm kind of just wandering, because this is all like spell stuff. So Galena's yeah, like, yeah. eh, I'm just kind of wandering around. I just want to like open it and be like, what's in sure. here? Like, I'm just kind of keeping mm-hmm. myself busy. But Sure. Um, again, seems to be like different kinds of components there and uh, some jars that are not being used, all kinds of stuff. Back over there. And as a uh, brick gets closer to the other table, and he's like, "Oh, these are the things that we needed." Oh. Yeah, they are. Oh, you know that does make sense. Oh yeah, isn't there? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why we came here. <laughs> and uh, brick recognizes the different things and puts them. Uh, puts them in like there's some pouches on the table as well, and he like puts those in pouches, and he's like, "Okay." Um, it looks like we got what we came for, and, well, didn't lose any money in the process, so... Yay? I mean, yay. Do you not care why this man died, Brick? Badasses care. Alright. Uh, uh, I don't know why he died. I, mean, I don't I know mean, him. That's fair. That's, you know what, and fair he's enough. And he's not really family, so... So, yeah... Yeah, you could only have a, a, a few, I guess a few a few people you could care about. I I, I understand. <laughs> Although it is, well, it's not the first time I see a body. So. How old are you again? Uh, Fifteen or so. Mm. That's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> the history of my people is. Is. Mm. Mm. That's you, valid. yeah. The, they yeah. used to be yeah. a slave people that only recently got their freedom mm-hmm. and <clears throat> the freedom was destructive mm. due to the I... chroma conclave destroying draconia yeah you know i i think maybe we could just look around here for just a, a few more minutes and then we can head back if that's okay with you brick uh, uh sure i'll just wait by the door yeah i th- you know does the key is it for his door to go into into like uh, this office you, here? You check. Can I check it? I guess it doesn't seem to be no. All right. Would it be okay? This is kind of weird, and I don't know. I think I'm gonna say a prayer over mm-hmm. the the body, and while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna kind of search the body for a little a moment just Ooh. to see, just. Maybe. So yeah, you say a prayer to um, uh, who the Everlight it? deity. Yes, the Everlight. You you ask the Everlight to guide this this person's light into into the the afterlife, and same time you check his his belongings. Uh, he seems to have like 
seven silver on him. <laughs> I feel wrong about that. I'm just going to leave that there. That okay. I don't need that. That's fine. Cool. And uh, other... <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. Other than that, there doesn't seem to be much on him. Um like most of his stuff was on the tables etc and there was the knife and the letter and the key but you already took those so it doesn't seem like he has anything else on him okay perfect we can leave at any point in time i think yeah can uh mm -hmm. i just my i feel like my my like investigation skills are just like i'm just i i want to know what happened to this man i feel like i can't mm -hmm. let it go there's very rarely do i come across a, a body that i i feel like i don't find out the cause of like death for or mm. i just is there any sort of like signs of like wounds on him is there can, can i like you can check ascertain? his body yeah can i like check his body just to see sure. if i can tell like how he died you flip his body over and his face and chest have been thoroughly eaten ah oh like corroded uh eaten by something so they're like bite marks or well, the, the, not so much bite marks as is the flesh has been ripped from his chest ah. and face. Could is there? Because I know that in the letter it mentioned uh, werewolves, like throats, which I think would this be like something that. Do these seem connected, or are they Roll a just a coincidence? Okay. Man, never been out of the city. I don't know anything. <laughs> Twelve. Um, it doesn't look like they would be. The bite marks would be anything of like canine mm -hmm. origin. Other than that, like you don't know what killed him. Although looking around the room at all the different things that he's been experimenting on you kind of put two and two together and you're like it doesn't it wouldn't be impossible that one of his creations killed him and is now loose okay so then we can assume oh, oh, oh. that something that he's, he's been working on is still out and about maybe mm -hmm. in the cart mines area yep yeah, I, you know, this is a later problem for us, I think. <laughs> but yeah, maybe the, the, not the, while we have Brick with us. The, yeah. cart, the cartways and the sewers host a lot of monsters. Yeah. This would so not I be the that... first, and this will not be the last monster yeah. that is added to the repertoire that exists within the sewers and the, and the, the yeah. cartways. I think it's just gonna be a. It's just gonna. It is what it is. Uh, listen, sucks that you died, but maybe you shouldn't make monsters. I don't know. <laughs> did you say this out loud? Yeah, absolutely, I did. <laughs> and then did, shake did, my head. But I like, wait, did he make these things? I think that we can ascertain that. Yeah, I think we can. Uh, you can make things with. Like creatures with magic? Yes, but badasses don't do that. Unless oh. they have to. Oh. When do you have to? Th that will come later in your training. Okay. That's a later conversation. Where, you know, we're getting there day by day. That's a... That's like a level 300 course for you. You know, Whoa. like a... <laughs> level 300? Yes, yes. <laughs> But I, I are think... you, Hornsworth? <laughs> what? <laughs> what level badass are you? I'm just curious. I'm, I'm in PhD wall, program, baby. I'm doctor badass at this point. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're, with Brick, we're still in, like, badass 101. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. right. Yeah, I'm, I'm at the point of being a badass where there's no numbers for my classes anymore. You're a doctor? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I just kind of, I just kind of hide my face. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I have a PhD. Oh, in really? badassery, yeah. Wow, where did you study? 
No, Cobalt, you know, you listen, I used to work at the Cobalt Soul, it's a, it's a whole other conversation. At the Cobalt Soul? Whoa. Yeah, that's, you know, that's how you get your, it's, it's how you become a badass, too. Um, Roll deception. <laughs> I'm poor, learning poor so child. much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, wow. He's like starstruck and just like wide eyes, like, wow, really? He really? really? Dr. Badass to you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. All right. <laughs> All right. Do you leave them? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I, I think, think we've they'll... exhausted all of our options here. Yeah, I think also knowing. Um, by the that way, do you take do you take the probably gone. Yeah, do you take the yellow uh, jar or jar of yellow stuff with you? Yeah. Um, take it. I like jars of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We can take it. And we'll just look at. It. I was like, I don't know who wants it, but I just take it. <laughs> yeah. Don't know right. what it is, but all right. We'll look at it later. We'll figure. We'll, we'll you know. I just I don't want to be down here much uh, longer than we have to. Who's taking it, sir? Me, Kalina. Yup. I shall yeah. add it to your inventory. It's called yellow stuff in your inventory because I'm. I love yellow that. stuff. Hey. Try the yellow stuff. It's. Delicious. Nah. I don't know about that. <laughs> don't eat the yellow snow, kids. Oh no. Mm. I did want to ask before we leave entirely. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. we could, after we leave this room, but yep, is this also a door on this other side of the corridor? Uh, it is a door. Yes. Could we after we leave this room before we mm -hmm. leave this area? Could we perhaps check it? I'm just sure. curious you, where you, it leads or you go if to it's the locked. door. <laughs> you go to the door. It opens and it seems to just lead to like more uh, just, hallways. Mm. Okay. All right, so or nothing. Hallway. Nothing indicative of our current objective. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Just seems to lead lead deeper into the cartways. All right. Oh god, I feel like it's so easy to get lost down here. So I'm I am down to elect that we. It is head very back easy to, to get lost. Yes. Reluctant. No, not the, uh. Rampant. What? Rip. Rampant roach. Mm -hmm. There's tavern in my other game called the Re Reluctant Pig, and it's just <laughs> in my head. <laughs> it's, it's... Yeah. it's all the same. They're all, you know. How dare you? <laughs> all right, you you make your way <clears throat> out of the cartways after about another hours another hours travel. Um, it is. Around 2 p.m. as you get out. Yeah, uh, Brick, you need... Do you need to get these back to your... Uncle? I almost called him his dad. Your uncle, uh, yes. soon, or... Fairly you... soon, yes. It, oh. I, I think he'll need this tonight. At least some of it. Okay. I was gonna say, maybe we could take a small detour, and, and Evelyn, maybe we can at least look for a mace for you uh mm -hmm. i feel like that's not mm -hmm. you know not a bad idea just to replace that sooner yeah. rather than later. corrosion yeah we want to get uh, as fast you could go to the penta market yep just like a small little i feel like since it's so early in the day i feel like you know mm -hmm. a small little excursion might not yeah, might it's not uh, it's gonna take uh, you a while to get to the penta market it's kind of the the other side, you have to go out of the slums and stuff, but yeah, you can go there. Mm -hmm. um, you can kind of like drop off brick on the way if you want. Oh yeah, we could do that. Yeah, yeah let's just do that. Yeah, Works for me. So you drop him off at the Rampant Roach and then you head towards the Penta Market, which is like a big marketplace and it includes, hold on, I need to check what the name of that one place is. Nope, wrong tab. There you are. No, it's not that. Uh, the Sparkhammer Smithing. Mm. 
Perfect. Yep. Yeah. I mean, definitely going to wanna... stop in there and uh, mm -hmm. peruse. So, as Before get... we go in, mm -hmm. I just want to point out to the party, the party, or like, d did we ever find out what the name of the blacksmith that what's his face, uh, Brick? Uh, is? Yes. Yes. You yeah. know his yeah. place. You know his name. Uh, his name is. B -b 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 hold on. Uh, Hest Heston Strake. Yeah. Heston Strake. Mm hmm. Okay. So is this the same place? <laughs> that, you like, don't know. That... Okay. <laughs> don't know. Then I just want to point this out as we, before we go and like, just remember that Brick is. He is. He is. He is uh, accused of having a, a blacksmith's daughter go missing. I'm not sure if this is the same place. I could be being paranoid, but just, you know, just keep that in mind. That's fair. That's fair. Hopefully we'll be okay. Let's okay. mm -hmm. yeah, shopping, though. Brick yeah. is not with us, so that's Yeah, it's true. Fine. Brick isn't with us. Hopefully yeah. people no. haven't associated us him. with him. So Even so, we could get information, perhaps. Fair? Oh, yeah, we yeah. could be nosy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As you, as you get as you get closer, you hear the sound of metal clanging, cling, cling, as the there are many smiths working at the spark hammer smithing. And you go inside and you can you can feel the heat in there. And there is a young man in his early twenties. <clears throat> Uh, seeming to be attending to some uh, some armor at the moment at like the desk there. Um, I'm just gonna like... step up and um, <clears throat> uh, just be like, "Sorry, uh, sorry to bother hmm. you, um, but ah, yes. I recently what... had an issue with my uh." My mace here, and I think it's oh. going to need replace quite quickly. So I would uh, like to just see what you might have in stock. Okay, uh, can I have a look at the the mace in question? Yeah, I'll just pull it off my side and just kind of like, like Oof. nasty, nasty work. Yeah, How did this happen? Good. Um, I you know it was just a <laughs> happenstance, just something. I honestly, it's a lot to explain. I see. He looks at you kind of like weirdly because he's like, this isn't exactly just a, a regular chipped mace, if I may say so. Um, We do have maces here, of course. Um, You can get one for five gold pieces. Okay, but... yeah, I'll take that. I yeah. could, of course, try to to mend this one. Uh, probably wouldn't cost as much. I could mend this for, say, one gold piece. Um, I think I think I'll just go with the new one. I I have a good amount of gold on me, so I think I'll just go with the new one. Very well. That'll be. Thank you for the offer. That'll be five gold pieces then. Okay, just hand off the gold pieces. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gives you a brand new mace. I shall add that to your inventory. Ayo. You can also subtract five gold from yourself. It's at the bottom of your inventory tab in your character sheet. And if you want to subtract any amount of money, you can actually write minus and then the amount, and it will automatically subtract that from the, the total. Oh, nice. Or plus and then add, you know, likewise. Uh, what was I doing? All right, the mace. Mace window. Mm -mm -mm. Now that you said that, I think I might actually name my mace window. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say it. Uh, mace. Damn it. I'll just specifically write the one. That, oh. That is damaged in your inventory. And then you'll equip that one and unequip that one. There you go. And he's like, here you go. Is there anything else I can 
help you with today? Maybe armor, weapons? I mean, I feel pretty content with how I am. I don't know about anybody else. Yeah, I'm, I'm all good. <laughs> no, I think that's all we need of your services today. I really appreciate your help and uh, hopefully right. we'll see you around. Yes, do feel free to come here again and uh, may the may the Allhammer be with you. But, uh, you know, I'm sorry, I just, I didn't catch mm -hmm. your, your name, perchance. Um, you know, just... Jace. My name is Jace. Ah, uh, great. Perfect. Good. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna leave. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I, I was, uh, yeah, that works for me. I'm down mm -hmm. to, I don't know if anybody else has anything they want to do, but I would be down to head back to the rampant roach. Um, we can head back. Yeah, we can yeah. do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. You head back to the rampant roach and, uh, it is, that takes you a few hours the total because it is at the other side of the the like common area of the city then there's of course the trispire area but uh you cannot just go there because that's the the rich people area mm. <clears throat> so you head back to the the rampant roach and uh skirtal is there at the front desk speaking with someone and it is quite lively already Name is uh, Skir. I'm just gonna find a table that's um, maybe free. a little table in the corner that might be free, mm -hmm. and just kind of pull some chairs from tables that don't have a lot sure. of people at them, and just kind of make a space for us somewhere mm -hmm. while we wait for Skir sure. to be free. Sure. I and, actually uh, stride on over to the bar because okay. I, sure. of course, I would like to order my my mm -hmm. my drinks, the my three shots, and I I order around for yeah. you know, oh, yes, our will, party. Uh, I, I will bring you these uh, your your three shots and uh, drink. You do you uh, you want food also? You and the uh, friends? Oh, uh, I kind of glance over. And go. Yes, probably. Ah, <laughs> uh, good, good, good. I will bring food also. And uh, it takes about half an hour. Seems there's, it's mm -hmm. quite busy there. But then uh, Skirtel brings you your your food and um, also your drinks and. Ah, I heard you you had some trouble in today's job. Oh, uh, did no more than normal, I feel. It's just a bit of ooze we had to uh fight. Ooze. Battle. Uh, ooze. Mm, yeah. Ooze. Um sorry about your contact, by the way. No uh, no longer is, a contact, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, it is how these things are, but uh, at least we got some some stuff for free, so, you know, save money it is always a good thing. Always good. Uh, but yes, but my normal contact, he will come back from, from Rick Centrum in the coming days, so... Not bad. Not, not a, a personal loss, you know? Mm. Um. But Brick, say you are quite brave. You fight like, uh, <laughs> you fight like strong people, yes. Like badass. Like badass. Yes, yes, badass. Yeah. That is word. <laughs> this new word of these young people. You young people use this word, the, the badass. badass. Yeah. Yes, interesting word. I would not call uh, my butt like that, myself like butt, but it is uh, <laughs> young people, yeah. you know, you speak it's, different. You know, yeah. times are changing. <laughs> ah, they are. <laughs> it is true. Ah, look, my people, we were slaves and now we are. We are free people, you know. They truly mm -hmm. time, times change, and the gods they uh, they play funny game. This that is they true. do. That they do. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but today's food very special. I was able to use some of this roach powder in in this uh, this pot I make, so it has very nice flavor. This uh, flavor called umami, you know. Oh, oh wow. I'm, yeah. Yes, it's I'm very already nice. shoveling food in my mouth. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's very good, it's very way. good. Your, your mommy? <laughs> no, no, not my mommy. Umami. Mommy? Sorry. Your... Mommy, sorry. Sorry, Ooh, mommy. mommy? Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, daddy? Sorry. No, uh, mommy? Sorry. 
<laughs> so <laughs> he's like, oh, but uh, I sorry, I need to go. Uh, love to talk about food, but you know how he is this very busy way. And he he's about to leave, and you notice that this whole time he was kind of nervous. And then he turns around. He's like, you know, I I was uh, thinking mm. maybe tomorrow instead of uh, helping Brick, you could maybe ask around about uh, this case. Has the head of your clan okayed us to take a look? He said it is okay. Yes, I talked with him last night. And, okay. Uh, I am still scared a little because I do not want to interrupt the Zadash business, but also, Brick uh, is very dear to me. I, yeah, he's he very is... dear to us as well. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I am very happy to see you take good care of him. This is this is how family treats one another, you know. Mm. And uh, for my people, family is very important. Yes, of course. Absolutely. Um, I think we could. I think we could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank We've you. kind of been taking it upon ourselves to kind of look more into things. I've been this, poking so. around, but not too much, because you know I do still want to respect your your clan leader's decisions. But I appreciate this. Yes. Yeah. Um. You can of course ask uh, the city watch or <laughs> over my dead body. <laughs> 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 or you <laughs> can go talk to Heston Strike, the, the man, what he believe. Mm. Yeah, where, um, where, what, where is he, like, located? Where is his, his blacksmith? Uh, his smithy is uh, right at border with Interstead's Sprawl, but still in mm. Outer Steads. Okay. Oh. Okay, cool. So, maybe we could start there tomorrow and then mm -hmm. go from there. I'd be down for that. Yeah, I think that would be good. Uh, yes, then of course you can um, Quarel. Uh, I don't know if you are familiar with Quarel. He, uh, she worked for uh, Koto Kragklaw, the head of our family, and um, she has been also looking into things, so she might have information. Is there... Because um, I think when we, we did meet her, it was in, like, an alley or something like that, if I remember correctly. Or it was, like, it was mm -hmm. not in, like, a lo actual location. No, no, uh, no, no. Is you, there, met, you met her in an alley, yeah. Is there... Um, what's the best way to, to contact her? Uh, Brick will know how to get in touch. Okay. Okay, we can just talk to Brick tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But don't tell Brick why you are asking. Yeah, you know, I just... It's, better he, it's better he know less. You know, yes, he's still young, yes. he doesn't quite understand. Listen, for him, I'm just teaching him how to be a badass. And that's what matters. <laughs> <laughs> you are like, big brother he never had. <laughs> Aww, but smaller. <laughs> That's <laughs> yes, <something>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he pats you on the head. <laughs> the biggest badass is in smallest packages, and I kind of mm. gesture between me and uh, me and Hornsworth. True, you are quite a, quite the uh, condensed badassery. Mm, yes, <laughs> condensed like... badassery. I like that. <laughs> Compressed badassery. That's like, yeah. <laughs> that's uh. That's our that's our party name. <laughs> condensed badass. Oh lord. It's like condensed milk, but different. It, I I was gonna make that joke earlier and then was like, I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> I got you. Uh before we decide to part ways for the night. Mm-hmm. Cause we've been sleeping back in, in like in our own quarters, like yeah. We've been own, going okay. Own thing. Um, 
so I can wait unless there's anything else that we want to talk about. Uh, I just wanted to do something on my way back to my office mm-hmm. um, slash sleeping quarters. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like to find a very <laughs> handsome city watch guard. Okay. On my way back. Okay. Yeah, give me a sec. I'm just doing one thing. I mm-hmm. forgot to take take the rage off. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> just <laughs> Kalina's raging as we're just like ah! eating the rage as I was eating. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just need to do it for like boundary reasons. So it, forever mm. raging, always raging. Yeah. Mm. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always raging. I'm always raging. <laughs> um. Uh, is that, but yeah, that you can do that on your way back. But is there anything else you want to do all in the meantime? Do you want to like discuss anything or? Um, I... I mean, we didn't really find much out to discuss per se. No. Oh, oh, the letter, the letter. Oh, the letter. That's true. I have that letter. I'll probably divert, uh, like, uh, divulge yeah. the information of the letter to everyone. Sure, you, uh... you divulge the information. Yeah, and I, w- uh, I would also love to try to figure out what the yellow bottle is. If I can't figure it out, perhaps someone in the party can. Yeah, you can certainly try. You I probably roll, can't. <laughs> you may roll an intelligence check with advantage because your party is helping you. Yeah, nice. I'm yeah. like, you can <laughs> listen. We're teaching Brick how to be a badass, we're teaching <laughs> Galena. Oh, maybe we're not. Uh, you teaching. can press the plus there in the chat, there where it says intelligence check. If you hover your mouse over the number, there's a little right. plus on the right to do it again. Then it will do it with advantage. You have Galena no is idea. not very smart. <laughs> it burns, the smell burns your nostrils, and like it's very, um, very putrid, very, very, this the very stinging smell, and you're all. Kind of goes between you all, and you're like, no idea. None uh, of your, later, none of your alchemists. Not, not healing someone. <laughs> we'll, yeah, we'll throw it at someone, see what happens. That, that would literally be Galena's plan. Like, <laughs> oh, it smelled bad. Throw it at someone. Worst mm. case scenario, they smell bad, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was worth a try. Yeah, for sure. Sweet. Then in that case, I'm ready to go to bed. All Can right. We... Um. On your way back, Hornsworth, you you see some city guards here and there as it is as it is um, getting dark. Or yeah, it is getting dark, so there are city guards walking about. Uh, could I go more specifically towards the area of where the blacksmith is, would have been located? Sure. Yeah, you can go. Um, you can go closer there. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, and is there anyone that's just like is on their own? Usually, or are they patrolling in like duo, like in pairs? They usually patrol in in duos for for safety's sake, and this is not an area where they patrol super heavily because it's the mm-hmm. slums. So they yeah, know, they they care less about the slums. Um, but there are some there. You see, like a a a duo moving around. How attractive are they? <laughs> <laughs> An important question. Hornsworth don't like need, needs to have attractive mates, mm. <laughs> or not? We'll see. Surprisingly, very attractive. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> nat twenty on that, that. That is the nat twenty that we wanted. Yeah, yeah. You're like hmm. very attractive. Like, I... Wow. Would love to just. I would love to feign being absolutely shit faced as I walk up to them. Okay, uh, roll a performance check. All right. <laughs> you love do your that. best drunk impersonation as you approach them, <laughs> and they stop, and they put their their hands. By their swords, and just, one of them is like, "You're right, there, citizen." I listen. I just was yes passing by, and I couldn't help but just bask in your beauty. And ah, <laughs> uh, you know, ah, uh, I myself quite attractive, if you could believe it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one, the other one looks looks at the other other one. Like, 
<laughs> he finds you attractive. You're like, Sh shut up. What the hell are you <laughs> on about? I am, I just, I'm feeling exceptionally lonely tonight. And, you know, I wasn't sure. I, I'm, I get a little, I get a little nervous sometimes. I'm sorry. I'm a little nervous, especially around <laughs> those that are just <laughs> so exceptionally just. Chef's kiss. Um, <laughs> and, and I just was, I was wondering, like, when you maybe got off, is there, you know, you know, like, how much longer are you having to patrol? Could come in, uh, Roll a patrol my bedroom. Charisma. <laughs> Roll a charisma check. Oh my god! <laughs> nat one, beautiful nat one on that charisma check to try to woo the city guard. Arrested. It was a worthy effort. You're gonna get arrested for being horny. No. Horny jail. Horny jail. Horny jail. Almost like real life. Horny no. jail. He's like, listen, piss off. I'm not into uh, your kind, you freak. And then, like, they, they kind of, they push past you and, like, they, like, shove you out of their way. Oh, I fucking tried. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it's me and Mildred. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'll just, I'll, I'll go home. Sure. <laughs> and I'm just hanging out with my rat, I guess. I oh, know. yeah, Radigan. Oh, so when, no. you, when you get to your office... I guess you don't want to see the giant rat I got in my office. They're, they're already gone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're just like, you know, like when, when you get like super stupid, and, but then you have to like yell very publicly to show that, <laughs> in fact, you, it wasn't you who lost. It was they that lost. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then people are kind of like, mm -hmm, just going to give you a side My eye. My pride is very hurt. I'm v I'm very sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get back to your office. Um, it's trashed because Radigan has been trash trashing it. Uh, papers strewn about. Rat droppings. You know, I probably shouldn't put him in my office. Should put it like probably not. <laughs> no, a, a sewer rat. Probably not the best place to put it in the office. Uh, it's been eating papers and uh, books and chewed on the table and there's rat droppings. And... This is a later problem for me. I just... <laughs> just go to the office. <laughs> like, ah. I just like, uh, you know, I think that I would just maybe collect uh, a few case documents that are like things that are, you know, maybe that were ongoing or very recent and I mm -hmm. just... I'm going to put them in a different room. <laughs> you don't have a different room. There's only one room. Do I sleep in the same the same room as my office? Oh, no. You, you have, like, your, your sleeping quarters. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, I was going to put them in, like, my sleeping quarters. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I was just going to, you know, move things over. But uh, I'll... I'll... Oh, I guess I, don't... I should bring food for him. I don't have any food on me. <laughs> it's almost like you didn't think this through. You realize... At this mm. moment, you're like, hmm. I and you like know, I, didn't I think, think this one through. I, f I feel like that's just like me. I say, listen, just, uh, can I, can I use my, my awakened mind to talk to him? Uh, did we talk? I don't remember if we discussed if I, I could talk to the rat I think we did, and not. I think you can't because it has to understand a language, if I recall. Mm. Let me double check. Uh, duh, duh. You don't have to speak to any creature you see within, but duh, duh. you don't need to share a language for it to, duh, duh. but it, the creature must be able to understand at least one language. So, no. It doesn't, it does not understand any language. It is an animal. Animals don't speak any languages. I'm just going to go to bed. This is a later <laughs> problem for myself. <laughs> Okay. This is, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to bed. <laughs> sure. sure. You go to bed. One lonely, lonely bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> the day, the night goes by without a hitch, and it is morning once again in the city of Zadash. And uh, 
You wake up, including a lonely Hornsworth. I'm so lonely. I haven't gotten laid in four days. <laughs> Down bad. <clears throat> oh. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. I love Hornsworth. I love all of your characters. But I do love Hornsworth. Listen. I realized I was like, I haven't been horny in FS Hornsworth yet. I need to fix that. <laughs> and fixed it was. <laughs> and now I'm... Mm. That's all fine. right. Um, I'm assuming that you all gather again at the Rampant Roach to kind mm -hmm. of start your day. And uh, you get word from Beardora again that she will she has to deal with some bookkeeping, so she will not be joining you. Bookkeeping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of work, you know. You have to. Mm -hmm. You ever run a bookstore? It's not easy. You ever have a giant rat in your office? Not easy. <laughs> also not <Yeah>. easy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a euphemism, but it isn't. <laughs> um, before we get this day started, do we want to have a little break? I'm down for that. Yeah, yeah we let's have like that. a yeah, we can. little little five minute break, everyone. And I can I can say hello to chat meanwhile. How's it going, chat? You've been enjoying today's episode? I sure have. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, V, for that amazing emote combo. Pee-pee pee -pee poo-poo time. time. <laughs> yes, pee-pee poo-poo time. Also, thank you for um, uh, Cl Cl Claire Witch. Was it Claire Witch? I didn't yeah, it was check. Claire Witch Baby. Yeah, Claire Witch Baby raided us earlier. Thank you very much for that thick raid. Illy Claire. Illy. Is that how people say it? That's weird. That's well, I'm weird. All right. oh, that's true. That's true. Uh, everyone, also, you should go, uh, f of course, follow all of our wonderful uh, crew members. I'm going to put shoutouts in the chat. While we are on the breaky, you should, you should all go follow these wonderful people. Wonderful streamers. No, you. Oh. And... W dot. And of course, Brit. There are the shout outs. Go follow all these wonderful wait, did I Oh no, K has the Ah damn it. I wait, why why didn't those work? What did I mess up? No. Every poo poo time is pee pee time, but not every pee pee time is poo poo time. That's true. It's <clears throat> very true. You are not wrong. We've had some beautiful nat twenties and nat ones today. I gotta say, having a good time, Mido. Yay! Like it has been some great, great nat twenties and great nat ones. Just mwah, at the right times. Also, just a reminder that if you can't watch the whole episode, or if you miss an episode, you can always go to my YouTube channel to watch the VOD. The first episode is already up there. Go check it out. If you have, didn't see the first episode, you can, you can catch up on what the heck's been happening. And uh, I'll put this episode also there on the, on the coming Monday. And of course, we're also on podcast services, Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, what have you, and... If we're not in some podcast service and you would like us to be there, just let me know. DM me on Twitter or whatever, and I'll I'll try to add us. There's a bunch of those. And I I thought because I was using Anchor, I was like, oh yeah, you just like put it on Anchor and then Anchor puts it everywhere. I was like, no, nah, it's not that simple. <laughs> it turns out it wasn't that simple. But hey, you live and learn. Gamers. Gamers. Gamer. If you sold mer to gamers, you would call it gamer. Okay. <laughs> I okay. very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I um, pull out only the best jokes on. 
on this channel, as my yeah. community will know. <laughs> only the best. <clears throat> the only the best. I would never bring anything but the best. I can agree with that. Thank you. I'm very much enjoying this this campaign of ours. I know. It's barely begun, and it's so much fun already. V comes here for the jump, dumpy and the jokes. I, I have both. I can... I can say. Wow. <laughs> Dump. I love the word dumpy. It is a wonderful word. So good. Yes, it's just, a lot of serotonin it, involved with that word. It's just like, it has such a great, like, dumpy. It's just like, oh, it's just so good. <laughs> Booba. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully, of course. Respectfully. <laughs> I always love. I love the, the brackets. Respectfully. My favorite thing is like adding derogatory at the end of things. Uh huh. <laughs> I love you, derogatorily. Derogatory. <laughs> that reminds me of the what's the, the the droid character in Knights of the Old Republic, who like at he he like at the Don't beginning of me. at the beginning of each sentence he he denotes the tone. He's like angrily. I will kill you, scum. But like, but he, he always says everything like really flat. So that's why he has to d denote the tone every time. Mm. HK something something. I f I forget the character's I, name. Sure, but I hey, know what you're talking about. they just announced the remake for for Knights of the Old Republic. So soon, all you wonderful people will get to experience that again. Hey. Hello, 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 hello. My Are cat is staring at me. I'm feeling <laughs> threatened. <laughs> oh no, cat. What's, what's the name of your cat? Lopez. As long as it doesn't <laughs> pull a slime on you, I think you'll be fine. Hey. Ooze. Why right. did it, my caption said my cat's name is Lopez? It is not Lopez. 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 <laughs> uh -huh. Lopez. No, See? she's only Lo Lopez slash Miss Piss. Mm, it's a good Depending name. on how I'm how I'm feeling, you know. Mm. All right, I think we can continue then after this brief break. <clears throat> All right, so you get together outside the rampant road. You have breakfast, of course, as uh, mm -hmm. Skirtal will, of course, gladly give you bean water for you, of course. And. What would you like to do then after work, breakfast? Um, I don't know about what anybody else has in mind, but I, I feel like maybe we could start with the blacksmith and go from there. Mm hmm. I think that's a good point of reference. Yeah. <clears throat> because we don't really have anywhere else that we know of yet that would like pertain to what's yeah, going on. Yeah. Um, so. I do not divulge my, my, party here with my failed attempt at seducing the city watch last night. They don't know that I did that. Watch, we walk, we walk by the city watch on our way and they happen to be the same people. That would be just... <laughs> just, just. Guy. No! You never know. You never know. <laughs> don't make me humiliated. <laughs> so you head or towards... Or maybe, because maybe I like it. <laughs> yes, I am ready. Cool. I have my shots in me. We got this. Let's go get some information or something. Yeah, no kink yeah, yeah. here. <laughs> so you head towards the blacksmith, and you come outside this small blacksmith. It is not a, <clears throat> it's not particularly grandiose like the the the, the, the spark hammer. Was it called that? Yeah, spark hammer smithing, which was like big and uh, impressive. This one is a lot smaller. Clearly, more of a, like a, a small family smithing. But you can hear. Blacksmithing noise is coming from within. Um, I guess I'll just stride right in and uh, mm -hmm. just uh, call out. Oh, um, I mean, just like generally call out, be like, "Hello, <laughs> sorry." <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. Follow in behind. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah, I'm hissed and strike. I'll be with you in a minute. 
Ugh. And then you can hear him like hammering there. Ting, ting, ting. <clears throat> and um, then you wait for like 10 minutes. Is there anything you want to do meanwhile? I just was going to look around. Is there anybody else in here or is it just him? <laughs> There's no one else uh, currently there, it seems. It's uh, okay. just him in the back uh, where the like the hearth is and he's working there. And you're kind of in like the his office area. There's like a desk there and you can also see on the wall there's like like a few weapons some armor okay and you, okay, wait, about, yeah. you wait about 10 minutes and he comes out he uh, he's a middle-aged man um he has brown hair with some with some streaks of of um gray so he's like aging but he's not like super old yet, so he's like yeah, mid mid forties, something like that. Uh, he's he's wearing like a a blacksmith's apron, and as he comes out, he he's taking off uh, gloves, and he kind of slaps them on the table there, and then he takes takes a a cloth out of his pocket and kind of wipes his face, which is like has a lot of uh, soot on it, and and he's sweaty, and he has like a a strong build because he's a blacksmith so he does a lot of physical mm -hmm. work and I was like Ugh, all right then what can I help you with hello uh, hello <laughs> uh you know I'm just traveling through these parts here with uh with my friends here and you know I just I seem to have lost my dagger and was wondering if you could perchance smith me a new one made sure. to order. Of course. What kind um, of dagger? I mean, do you just want a normal dagger or something special? Uh, I mean, like, how intricate could we get with the work here, you know? Like, could we... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a blacksmith, but I'm no, no master worker. If you want something ceremonial and super detailed you're gonna have to go to the the penta market or even the dry spire but i can make you a nice looking dagger uh you know i think a nice one would would, would be a a good place to start i think that that would would do just just fine all right um sure i can do that it'll be four gold that take me sounds... a couple of days that sounds good to me. Uh, you know, I also, I didn't catch your name. Sorry. Uh, I'm, Heston. Uh, Heston Strike. Hmm. I'm Hornsworth. Uh, yes. Nice to meet well, you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, you know, I just, I, I've never really been uh, in this area before. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, and I just, it's a, it's a fine area you, you've got around here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, do you have anywhere? Yeah, I'm just going to put it out there plainly. Are you single? He's kind of taken aback. Like, uh, he, yes. I'm sorry. I just get, I get a little flustered around really big, strong men. And <laughs> I, <laughs> part <laughs> Pardon my, my forwardness here, but would are you doing anything later? Roll a charisma check. Please. Oh Please God. roll that one. Oh my oh my God. Ooh, Nat three. <laughs> God. <laughs> We're gonna not find out anything, are we? Sorry, sorry I'm uh, not into the mail types if you know what i mean oh i can be anything you want me to be uh, that's uh, <laughs> no thank you uh, but we can still do business if you want uh it's two gold up front and then the rest of the two when the job is done that sounds great to me <laughs> <laughs> Galena's just leaning in the back against the back wall, just like, 
uh huh. This is this is happening. Just uh, enjoying the I show. Am, I am, <laughs> Hornsworth is trying not to cry right now because I two failed shots in a row <laughs> just Oof. really is not <laughs> just Oof. destroying his ego. Um, <laughs> I yeah, that's just, that sounds great. Um, you know, I'm just gonna. Uh, here's. The two gold. Um, if I don't mm -hmm. know if anyone else wants anything, uh, y'all can chat. I'm gonna just go. That's um, probably better. Yep. <laughs> I'll be done yeah, in two days. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back in two days, and I'm just gonna go outside and sit on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you go I just outside. Outside. Go touch grass. Oh, no. <laughs> He takes he takes like a, a a ledger and then he he writes the order on the ledger and. Uh, Right, then for you three, anything I can do. I did actually have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Um, And I go into my pack or whatever. I take out mm -hmm. the dagger that we found yesterday, the silver okay. dagger. And um, I I came across this in in travels, and I just mm -hmm. wanted to have it looked at by, by blacksmith, see if you recognize sure. or if there's anything I should know about it. And he takes it, like, oh, that's a really nice dagger. It's uh, silvered and... Nicely balanced, and then he, he tries the the blades. Very good craftsmanship. Uh, where'd you say you find this? Just around. I do I do many jobs. Come across many things, uh, but mm. it right. seem, I will say it did seem odd to find it in such strange place, which is why I wanted to make sure it uh, is as nice as it looks, if it makes sense. It's a very nice dagger. Not not something I can make. I don't haven't really done the silvering myself. Do you happen to recognize or know who may have made? No, no, can't say that I do. Okay, just curious. Thank you. And I just take the dagger You're back welcome. and step back. And that'll be 10 gold, please. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was hoping, like, maybe he had made it and, like, you know, like he'd it. be able to tell us, like, oh, that's so-and-so's dagger. And we'd be <laughs> like, oh, that's important. But no. <laughs> I tried, y'all. I tried. Mm. <laughs> Uh, you too. Anything for you? And points to uh, uh, Cynthia and Evelyn. Uh, yeah, no, I don't have any uh, any need for your business right now. Thank you. Fair enough. All right. So, um, sorry about all that earlier. I don't know what was happening uh, with that, but um, <laughs> got a I, weird friend there. Yeah. New friend, but we like him. We like him. It's he, fine. He don't means worry. well. He, he just, means well. Uh, he does. Yeah, he's just he gets lonely uh, sometimes. It's well, been horny from time easily. to time. I can, I can understand. Yeah. <laughs> a man has needs. Yeah, um, but um, you know, I don't want to pry. And feel free to not answer if you don't want to. But mm. I'm new his, here his, in town. His brow kind of ri rises in like expectation. Mm. Mm. Yes, I'm new here in town, and I, I hate to pry. Um, but I have heard some things just in the air as I've made my way through the city and. Um, just, is the City Watch doing anything for you? I just feel kind of like they're in the background, not really. It just seems like all these rumors are just getting a little too far ahead of themselves. I'm nah, just going to make sure. Nah, the piss him sea guard, they don't do jack shit. Yeah, I totally understand the City Guard in my area is not that great either, to be honest. Uh, hold on a sec. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's all he says. Oh, okay. Well, um, and you only have one suspect. There couldn't be anyone else. That... Oh, so, sorry, did you ask him directly about his daughter? Uh, well, I mean, kind of. Yes, I mentioned the rumors and just was asking. <laughs> but you, you, were just, you were just talking about rumors it. in general, right? You didn't mention the rumor about his daughter. Oh, right. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, let so me get a little bit more specific here. Then, um, I I heard that you you know I have a niece, and I'm I'm just gonna lie and say I have a niece. Um, we can do a role for that if we need we to. We can. But, we certainly um, will do a role for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's in uh, it, 
what, what would that be? A deception. Right. Because you are lying. He, do he doesn't seem to react when you say you have a niece. Okay, so I have a niece, and um, right. I would feel um, very, very upset um, if she went missing. So I was just wondering if there was any any other suspects involved. I don't know. I just I wanted to bring my niece here at some point because it's a very beautiful city. I just want to make sure she's safe, you know? Safe from what? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean the dragonborn, are, the, the fucking dragonborn are not to be trusted. They're, they're weird people. I don't like them. Came here out of nowhere. She go back to where they came from, you know? Oh. So if you just stay away from them, you're probably fine. What suspects? What are you talking about suspects? Honestly, I don't, I don't really know. Maybe I'm just... I, I don't know. I'm new here, so I just don't... I'm just trying to get the feel of things in the city, make sure it's safe for my my niece and her family. I don't know. I'm just sorry. I yeah, don't stay mean to away. lie or anything. Just stay away from the, the fucking dragonborn and you'll be fine, I think. Um, debatable. Debatable, but sure. Thank you for that warning. Mm. I, I think I'm just gonna... Check myself out and head uh, to the door. Yeah, I That's think right. I think we're good to go now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you. we will see you in a couple of days. Uh, th thank you, thank you for, thank you, and I just kind of thank you for an interesting <laughs> just step morning. Out right <laughs> the rest of you step out and you see Hornsworth there, sitting on the on the ground. Thank you. You, made a good you okay, buddy? Stop it! <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna Aww. crouch down and give him a little side hug and just feel like it's <laughs> fine, Hornsworth. It's, he wasn't worth it. He just seemed a little dull, you know, not really your your type, I think. You're right. You're right. I just, you know, been quite lonely lately and I just want to find somebody to spend some time with. <laughs> hope hope will out. Don't it'll be fine. Uh, did you uh, get any information from? No, that guy is a, a brick wall. Don't even know what's going on. That guy, is brick, like brick, <laughs> like... yeah, like like brick, kind of, yeah, like bri yep. uh, brick, <laughs> So wait, could we teach him how to be a badass? I immediately am like, wait, I, could I, think I? Think he's got no, no, it. I, I, I think... do not think he is worth your time, prof mm, professor of badassery. Not worth, mm. not worth the rank up. <laughs> You know, if if this uh, this whole investigation protection detail doesn't work out, I feel like we could open a school here. Like <laughs> the school, you know, like I think I think the as, school as of a, badassery. Yeah, I, I'm just saying. You know, I'm not sure what everyone else's plans are in the future here, but I just, you know, I just think that maybe one we have some job time. prospects in our future. That's all. That's good. One one thing at a time. Uh, so you, we didn't get anything. No. Uh, just just okay. what nope. we expected that he does not trust the dragonborn and uh, yeah. Yeah, he actually he seemed kind of he seemed a little a eh, little eh, I don't know I was I wasn't feeling it. Mm. Oh, he was openly racist. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, are you yeah, are you divulging that, that to Hornsworth? Because that. <laughs> uh yeah, we are. He was openly racist. Absolutely. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, we could like maybe take care of a little something later if we wanted to. Um <laughs> we get to egg his, we get to egg the blacksmith? That would be fun. <laughs> I you know I'm as as a man of the law I love me, no. <laughs> I'll get I'll get the eggs. We'll do this tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, Galena has no tact. Galena don't care. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Uh shall Maybe we could ask around a few businesses nearby and see if there's anybody that's might mm -hmm. maybe be a bit more receptive <clears throat> than he is, because you know. Sure, you can definitely do that. I would have you roll an 
investigation check then. Oh, I'll roll one as well. <clears throat> I'll roll. Let's see. I know. I'm not going to do well, but I can certainly try. A 20. Not 20. What, what the fuck? Yeah. Y'all are killing Whoa. it. Two nat 20s. Holy shit. All right. Ew. Um, you split into, like, you all kind of go ask around different houses uh, in, in the vicinity. Uh, some are businesses. Some are just residential um, buildings. And you are... Let's see. What's the... Let's see. What's the... What information is there? So you know that the City Watch also talked to all of the people that you're talking to. Some of them were like, yeah, yeah, fuck off. Like, they didn't want to talk with you when you were asking. Um, yes, Galena especially, you didn't have really very good luck with, uh, with Galena asking doesn't around. know how to talk to people, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you're able to find out that, yes, the City Watch also came and talked with everyone here. A few of them tell you what they told them in that they... They heard noises. Some of them heard noises that night, um, <clears throat> but didn't see what happened. They didn't really hear signs of struggle that much. There were some signs of struggle su struggle found at the place, but everything seemed very, like, efficiently done. Um, some of them believe it's the Dragonborn. Some of them are like no it doesn't make sense why how could it be some teenager do all of that like without making any noise and so effectively like it doesn't make sense to some of them some of them are like yeah but it's the fucking dragonborn can't trust them etc etc um uh, Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's about all you can find out from them. Um, also that, you know, the the girl lived on the second floor as well, mm -hmm. and she was taken out through the window, so that's also something. That is what you were able to find out. Um, uh, Is there... Is the blacksmith and the, like, their house are they like one in the same building yeah, yeah. so basically they... the, the blacksmith is the lower uh floor and then the upper floor is their uh residential okay um could i potentially like go i just want to like kind of circle the building if possible mm -hmm. and look for sure. the window in which that uh so, so there's like um it's it's like in the middle of a block so there's like uh there's two kind of alleyways on both sides, mm -hmm. and then on one of them you can see that there's a window up there. Uh, from where I'm at, uh, I guess maybe I might have to, like, get onto the roof of another building to really look, but I just want to see if there's any, like, scratch marks going up the wall, or if there's any, like... Mm, roll a investigation check. Fifteen. Yeah. 15. You can indeed see that there seem to be some signs that someone maybe climbed there recently. Does it look more like... I guess would that be like... Okay. But like, do they see... Because like, Dragonborn have like... How? They have, like, they have, they have like, claws. Yeah. They do. Do, they, they, do they look like claw marks or do they look like... No, there's no clear More. claw marks, no. Okay. Um I Hmm. It seems like this was I... professional job. Yeah. I mean it seems like 
this is this is a little more than I think than what a a teenager could do. Yeah, I mean what everyone else is saying. Not 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 that we part. not that we suspect him, but like but it anyway, seem, but it, yeah. it, it it seems very clearly not. And I I'm hesitant to talk to the city watch because I guess in my my history of you know <laughs> investigating things on my own uh, apart from them, they don't like it. <laughs> No, uh, they're not. They, a, they, uh, it kind of depends on the case. Yeah. Like some cases, they they don't care because it's like yeah. uh, spy on my husband for me, and they're like, yeah, they don't give a fuck about yeah, that kind of stuff. But like, but if there's like a missing persons case, and then other people are rummaging into it, they typically don't like that. Yeah, yeah. So, more so like, I guess, a, a, my my meaning in that. Because uh, like a lot of your cases are just like you know finding out information about people or mm -hmm. you know, tailing people Recon. stuff like that. Like. Yeah. People like you know, people want to know stuff about other people, and you know they don't really care about that in the slums. They're just like, yeah, slum people doing their own shit. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, you've had a few missing person cases, and that's when you've like briefly brushed shoulders with them, and they've been kind of like, hey, not stay out of it. Yeah. So but... I just I I don't. We could try talking to them. You could. Yep. See how it goes. Mm -hmm. But I, I think maybe we go in with expectations low. And Ooh. theory, I have mm -hmm. theory. Yes, it it may be crazy. I've only been in this town for a couple, like couple of months. Have not lived here long. So Hornsworth, tell me, because you live here. While I've been mm -hmm. doing jobs in in slums in in different in different parts of city, I have heard. I have heard stories of a, or like a a, 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 a some sort of criminal organization, in the city. Uh... I'm looking through my notes. I think I have the name here. It's the myriad. I think it's the myri myriad. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, mm. the, the 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 myriad. I've heard, and with with what we are seeing, as I gesture up to the clearly difficult crime scene, does that not seem like it would be something they do? Could it be? I mean, you know. Hornsworth, yeah, definitely, it could be the myriad. Yeah, um, the myriad. Kidnappings are definitely things that the Myriad does. Uh, yeah. What the motivation for the Myriad to do that is another question, of course, because yeah, someone could have hired of... them to do that. There might be some outlying debts that were not paid, and they're they're doing that because of that. Uh, like, yeah, the Myriad might be behind it, but you don't know. It, it's a possibility, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm... I think the possibility is there. I just... I, my... I just think that that then leads to me wondering why, because a seemingly smaller blacksmith doesn't feel like there's much to gain from kidnapping his daughter. So, so I don't know if this centers around him or if this centers around them trying to make the dragon borns look bad. It could be either. I was going I to just... say per perhaps could be uh, they could be trying to blackmail blackmail the father. Maybe it might be it might be worth looking into seeing if he has if he has enemies. Clear clearly the dragonborn do, but maybe maybe yeah. Uh, has I was just because he could. I mean, they could be using the blacksmith as a tool against. Uh, you know, they so have some the... sort of qualm of like, sorry, Ava, go ahead. You're fine. You're fine. So is the daughter the same age as Brick or? Uh, no, the daughter is an, or... is an adult, young adult. Oh. Okay. So then since there's no real sign of struggle from what we can tell, is there a possibility that maybe she left on her own and everyone just thinks she was kidnapped? This could be, this could be interesting thought and i mean with brick losing his dagger i think he said he lost it in the cartways specifically yes yep. yes you yeah. know While it could have rides. been it could have been an easy happenstance for the myriad of just being like or you know or whoever kidnapped oh. or it's like oh it's a perfect way to pin it it's a perfect way to pin it on someone else yes yeah, especially I, with all these preconceived notions about dragonborns, especially stuff. with the blacksmith himself being very openly mm. against them. Um, so I suppose question is, 
if Myriad involved, why? And if Myriad is involved, could it? Is it about Dragonborn, as you say, or is it about Blacksmith? Yeah, I just I. W so how do we go about? And I kind of just gesture, like <laughs> I, I, you know, I. I feel like we've burned the bridges with this blacksmith, but I, I. We have at least one more. We have one I, more opportunity because we have to go back for your dagger. So maybe we could, I don't know. I just M money talks. We could do that, but I don't know if he will be receptive to <clears throat> bribery <laughs> from you. I have a very weird idea. Weird is good. Weird is badass. Yes. What if the rat god paid him a visit? <laughs> And I've got the rat. I don't know if y'all remember the l very large rat <laughs> that we took from- That is in my office. Oh, <laughs> actually, now that you've mentioned the rat, wild idea, wild idea. <laughs> but what if we set the rat off in the bottom of the blacksmith's store, and then we find a way to get into the window and look into the red room ourselves while he's distracted? We could, I, I could also potentially be the distraction with the rat because I think I have a few words. As I think God, we need in, information. Yeah. I think we uh, have some more information that we want to get out of him. But I think that this is, I think that this is, we've got, I think a, a string of, of things here. And if this goes horribly wrong, for whatever reason, we still have other people we can talk to. We still have uh, Corel, which um, Skirthal told us to to talk to um, and see. But I think that maybe as a last, last ditch effort to at least uh, understand if he's in debt to someone, if, you know, just to grasp a little bit of motive, I think this maybe could be a good idea. Um, I think... Hmm? Go ahead, Galena. No, I was going to say perhaps this idea of sneaking into um, sneaking into the room. Perhaps we should, as Horns or say, make this our last our last ditch effort. And if we do, perhaps we should wait until uh, Berdora is back. She seems very good with the uh, sneaking books. <laughs> with books. You right. with the books, but. The books. Uh, yeah, uh, you know seems... what you know what I say. You know what I, I think say. That's we, a we good could, idea. We could do that. Um... Because he already knows I... that it's you, so the rat god thing wouldn't necessarily work, would it? I'm, I am a Go, master of in different ways. I'm a ma that's master true. of that's deception. True. You're a master we, of deception. Listen, the rat god try. was just look. I was just looking for some. Fun. We could try it. We could try that. Here are my thoughts. Uh, I I think maybe we we could if we want to. This is up to up to you know as as the group here. I am open to paying him a visit as the Rat God with my Rat friend in tow. Um, and then if that doesn't work out, maybe go talk to Quarrel and then come back later in the eve. And release the rat. <laughs> if we yeah. have to. Yeah, if we have you to. Know? If only if we have to. Yeah. I, and then you know, while while rat is doing things, that is when we... Then we... Yeah. I feel like this be. is a good plan. I think before, this is... Should... Sorry. Before anything, can I just, mm -hmm. like... Same thing as um, Hornsworth did. Can I just look around the back and see if, like... Especially since I'm taller, if there's a way for me to like get up into the window on my own, if if need be. No. Oh, no. Okay. No. It's it's a second floor, so it is like you would need something to climb up there. Okay, that makes sense. If you were to use the window. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Maybe maybe Skirtall has a ladder or something. Sure. Uh. Yeah, okay. Shall we go get the rat? Yeah, why not? 
Let's do Edra it. recently. Let's uh, take a little trip to my office. <laughs> Step right, into my office. We should get like fashion, like a like a collar and like a, a leash or something. Keep it kind of reined in, you know. Maybe. I was gonna say, is there any way I can leash the rat? <laughs> um, I've got some rope potentially. You could I use could, rope. Um, I, could I also have, have rope. Raven. I could have Edgar carry it around. <laughs> It's, it's, a rat, it's a giant rat. It's a giant rat. It's a giant, giant, rat. giant rat. It's not a normal rat, rat. yeah. Because it, it's uh, like the, si the size of like a dog, right? Yeah, it's the size yeah. of like a small dog. So it's a bit too right. much for Edgar to carry for an extended amount of time. Edgar being uh, your raven, that is. Yeah, just for every uh, watch. Bestest, bestest rat raven. I think yeah. maybe... Okay, I kind of... Yeah, I think... Is there any like... Like clothing stores uh, on from my where we're at now on my way to my office. Sure, you can you can bump into some ba basic, basic. Yeah, like, um, I just want to not clothing store, but like a, a tailor. Yeah, I I just what I'm just uh, I'll just like pop in I guess to a tailor and just be like, do you mm -hmm. happen to carry any black cloaks, robes, something with a hood potentially? I forget what they're called. Oh, oh yes, the... uh, I think I have basic travel cloaks. Yes. Yeah, just is black, preferably. Black, um, yes, sure. Would be great. Uh, yeah, could I just get one of those, please? Sure. And weird question. Could yes. you potentially tailor, like, some sort of collar <laughs> with spikes on it? <laughs> That seems well. It depends what you need it for, I guess. I could make small it out of small dog size, preferably. Oh, a small dog. dog. You'd probably want a leather worker for that, I'd say. Mm, uh, okay. Le leather would be a better material. Not really my expertise. I'm I'm more on the cloth side of things, you know. That's fair. That's the yes, you know. Uh, I'll just I'll take the cloak for now. Yeah, I'll... that that'll be one silver. Um. Okay. I will. Thank uh... you. <laughs> And I'm gonna adorn my black cloak. You have a black cloak. <laughs> I'm hoping it look really cool. It is. It is not particularly cool. It's very basic. <laughs> it's fine. Um, the rat god is very big. It's fine. Uh, and I I'm just guess I'm gonna go get the rat. Okay, you all go to Hornsworth's office. Do you all go to the office? Yeah, like we'll inside, just go inside. With I mean, them. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. with them. Okay, it is messy as fuck there's just like <laughs> papers everywhere books strewn about there's like a um uh like a cloak stand and it's like it's 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 been all down there's bat not bat droppings rat droppings bat rat is the same thing mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. there's there's rat droppings all around um some of the papers have been like chewed and eaten and uh there's like a table that's been like the legs been chewed yeah. Listen, it's in not much better condition than when I left it um, the and first time. You know, when Radigan I mean, kind of is... <laughs> Radigan kind of <laughs> looks at you when you come like, uh, <laughs> it is clearly hungry and uh, and in a very I agitated state. Uh, I didn't mention food before we came. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, I forgot to grab food. Um, my little brain doing its best. Uh. There, there's like some like market, like there's like some sort of like place I could get like meat. Sure. Like, yeah, absolutely. Oh uh, yeah, I, I'm just gonna be like, oh, one second, <laughs> just gonna like <laughs> dip out and go. Yeah, you, you come back in like 15 minutes with some, uh, some yeah. slop meat. When you uh, <laughs> that that'll be like two copper or something. Um, when you yeah, come back, you just see Yelena. Like, I want to kind of. I'm gonna start rummaging around the office, not to like. Mm -hmm. I I want to find some like the 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 D and D equivalent of like paper clips. Like I just want to find like metal because I want to kind okay. of like I want to make a really crappy little crown for the rat god. But like it doesn't need to be because like it has to be fast because we're doing this like tonight, mm -hmm. you know? Because it, it's gonna be in the dark, so I just it just needs to look like a crown. So I'm just looking for the equivalent of like a paperclip if that's a thing. I don't think you'll have any you can find anything big enough to make like a visible crown. Mm, okay. Um hey Cynthia. Yes. Do you pretend perchance have any 
like spells that could create like a small illusion, An illusion? or like um or do you have anything that could potentially i guess just like enhance how i'm going to look like you know in terms of i guess like out of character for spell wise like minor illusion or i think is it prestidigitation i think it's the one prestidigitation is the one prestidigitation by the way i need to do a long rest for you because i forgot to do that earlier so it should ping you about a long rest oh foundry so that you get your your health and your uh, spell slots back. Mm -hmm. Um, so something to to make you look cooler is what you're asking. <laughs> yeah, you know, I I just I I think our magics are very very different, and I I myself uh, do not have the ability to to create illusions or things of that nature but mm -hmm. I, I just you know i wasn't sure if you maybe had something in your in your that that nice uh, book of yours uh well i don't know about i haven't gotten the chance to really look at the spell book we found uh, but... i'll say that you you had a you had a like a glance at it like... last night and okay. you found out some of the spells in it um one of the spells in it is vampiric touch and another oh. is uh, false life. Oh, okay. Those are fun. Those are. <laughs> okay. Those are fun. So uh, I could I could look through this new spell book. Then uh, we could uh, pick something out from there. Um, but as of what I have right now available that I can do, um, I I can make your uh, your cloak do a little do a little floaty float. You know what? I think you that's know? perfect. I think that's, you know, that's, you know, that sounds like right on the money. <laughs> if, I cast, right, exactly. if I cast Bless on him, will that do anything or no? Okay. Not like that. No. Bless is just uh, makes it easier for you to hit something or resist like or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, for, you know... our, for our plan, I do, I do have a bit of a spell that may work as a last minute distraction if all else fails. So. I have, I think I have something up my sleeve in case I, you know, really uh, get myself really in a pickle here. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm looking, I'm like reading this thing that I have. Okay, sure. I, I think my my plan is here is to is to just. Okay. Out of, again, out of character charm person, they don't know it's they're charmed until after, correct? Yes, they don't know at the moment when they are charmed, they don't know afterwards. I think it says in the spell that after they after the spell ends, they know that they were charmed. But of course, if you fail the spell, they will know that you tried to do know. something. I mean, it depends, of course, like, yeah. if they're a spell caster, they might know what type of spell you tried to do, etc. If they're like, otherwise, they'd be like, what did you try to do to me? It, it depends on the person. So uh, just, Cynthia, just oh, yeah. for, your, for your knowledge, like if you want to copy a spell from another spell book, it takes two hours and it costs you 50 gold pieces per spell. Oh. Yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> because you need specific materials to write the spells into your book. That's why it costs a lot. Okay, okay. Yeah, oh. that, that, is, that is a hefty fee. It is. <laughs> oh. Um... Okay, I you know I think I've. Uh, is is the rat kind of calmed down at this point? Is now that he's uh, as, eating? as you as you gave it food, yes, it has calmed down and it is more amicable. To okay. All of you. Um. I because is it does it follow us? Not if you don't oh, no. ask it to. No. Okay. Um. I want to squat down, so I'm like eye to eye with the rat, and I'm gonna be like, listen, buddy. I'm going to need you to do this thing for me. And if you do this thing for me, I will return you to your home. It looks at you. It looks it's at no you. idea what I'm saying. It's fine. Probably it's not. You don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. You've never talked to a giant rat before. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna assume that it doesn't know what I'm saying, but I'm gonna I'm I'm am instilling this in the rat. I am, I I just I need you to follow me. I need you. Follow me until I give you. I, I can't give this rat a cue. Oh, okay, hold on. Um, <laughs> I just can you just stick by my side and look menacing. It just looks at you. <laughs> I'm just gonna give the rat a thumbs up, and I'm gonna take some like hesitant steps towards the door, mm -hmm. and see if he follows me. No. You also remember now that uh, the goblin spoke goblinoid to this rat. Oh, I speak goblin, right? Oh, you do. That's okay. true. So I'll just like kind of like lean down to the rat mm -hmm. and say, "Goblin, that's your guy. Follow him, and you'll get to your home." And that's all I say. <laughs> okay. Now it goes to uh, Hornsworth. Okay. Okay. All right. Shall we? Shall we do this, y'all? Yep. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. All right. As you uh, uh, head, yeah. head out, it's been about an hour. It's uh, it's noon now, and uh, as you're walking around with a giant rat, you get a lot of looks. Behold, <laughs> the rat god is making their presence. <laughs> and people are like, some are some like give you a wide berth. Some are just like. <laughs> It's fucking crazy people, whatever. I am, <laughs> I am standing as tall as I can. I am looking as proper mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and majestic as I can as I walk. Sure. This is what it's like living in a city. I've got yeah. Gust. I'm using Gust to kind of like flow it perfectly. <laughs> 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 right. You're kind of, you're kind of, wait, wait, how does Gust work? Hold on. I need to check something for this, for the specifics of this. Um... <laughs> Gust, gust, gust. You see the air and come for like one uh, small blast of air. But it's like... Uh, yeah, I was looking at the, the third effect there. Hoping that would... <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, yeah, yeah, so you're basically making the the the, the cloak like... Whew, go in the back like a, like a cool like a cool <laughs> scene in a movie. Hmm. Yeah, you're, you're, you're doing that. <laughs> but yes, you are you are attracting quite a lot of attention. Oh, that's not. That's fine. Well, uh, I don't know. Maybe if you didn't go around saying "All hail the Rat God" <laughs> in the middle of the city, in the middle see, of the, the day, is, if we get them all into the place, there'll be there'll just be so much commotion. I. It's fine. I think so. I, I would. I. Uh, let's. Try and stick to some alleyways. The closer we get to his location, so. sure. You take some. You take if some. If that's possible, you, you try to take some lesser walked paths, but you still yeah. get some looks I, because which is fine. A giant uh, rat walking around is not normal. It's fine. Listen, it's just I, I'm trying to fix my son here. He's he's been turned into a rat. <laughs> no. You say that to a passerby. Trying to get my son back to. Being the gnome, gnome that he is, um, <laughs> I can definitely feel the 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 lack of Beardora. Right, totally fine, <laughs> totally fine. Um, <laughs> um, you reach the store. So I would like to to turn to my my compatriots here. Um. I I think that What time is it? Uh it's like it's like noon-ish. Only noon. <laughs> yeah, cuz you left in the morning yeah, and that was the first yeah, thing yeah. you did. Right. I just right. said when you left it's like noon. It's it's like the middle of the day. It's not <laughs> night. You've only been walking around for a little bit. <laughs> You realize as no, you as, that, as you, you arrive, my brain. Hornsworth, like... as you arrive, and then you're like, wait a minute, and then you you kind of look up, and the sun is like up, and you're like, <laughs> you look at the rat, you look at the store, and you're like, oh no, it's daytime. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, you know what? We're just gonna go for it. 
the rat god has oh, better things to right? attend to. <laughs> better okay, things okay. to attend. I mean, I don't know. The, the, the party, as you, uh, my friends here do, we, do you think that we should just... I, we're already here. Should we go for it, or should we... You've attracted a crowd. Um... Uh, you don't have a crowd there, no, but there, people definitely paid notice to you as you were making your way from... Uh, from Hornsworth off Hornsworth's office to by the way Hornsworth did you have your hood up or down I was gonna have it up okay good to know uh, um, but you definitely caught eyes great I believe we're too far in yeah we're, we're <laughs> too are we, far are gone. We gone. <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so what's All right. the plan um okay I um Galena being the, the the strong uh maiden that you are could you bust the door down for me at least i can do yes ah perfect <laughs> i'm just gonna hold back and stay kind of like guard of the front door just okay gonna get arrested. you gotta you gotta stand <laughs> and, and what and what just... is plan what is plan after the door um, yeah yeah down? what are the, what are the three of us supposed to do uh, if you want to look menacing, I'm going to speak to him in my rat god way through the mind. <laughs> should I should mean, we not should we not perhaps be the three of us hidden so that it doesn't look like we are the same four people that were in his store a few oh, hours ago? That's fair. Yeah, if you just yeah, want to down, yeah, yeah. down like, I'll go in on my own and I'm just... I, 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 think, can, I so, can handle this if we want. We can yeah, I, like, I think you I can. can I think can, you uh, can. Cause, cause I can I, watch I, I look the at stairs the, yeah. if you'd like. Yeah. Just to, to make sure that while you're distracting, nobody, you know, heads up. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, we can do Yeah. We can do this. Yeah, so I, I, this. I, will, I will bust the door <laughs> open. Do this. Very dramatic. You go in. Uh, Cynthia do does a magic thing to mm -hmm. make you look cool. And uh, we will keep watch, <laughs> and you will do your thing, and uh, yeah, that sounds like plan. Is good. Is good. <laughs> is good. Yes, I am like try I am just like it is a plan. <laughs> Hornsworth is just sitting there, and is just like I can. I I will not fill my my charisma checks. I I will be very charismatic. I will be good. I can do. I'm like trying to like hype worth. myself up. Yeah, yeah. You got this. <laughs> Okay. You got dark powers. You got this. Yeah. All right. So, um, Galena goes there and kicks the door open. I mean, the door is open, but just like it makes it slam. Like, it slams open, and then, so do you? The rest of you, do you like hide in the, in like across the street, or where are you located in relation to um, the building? I am going to tail behind Hornsworth, actually, kind of as a rat god's attendant. So you're also going inside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll be watching the the stairway. You mean the stairway upstairs? Yes. Okay. And Evelyn and Galena. Um, I I I plan to just literally bust the door open, and I was gonna just stay within like within a couple feet of the door, but like I wasn't okay. gonna go in because I thought we okay. were trying to make it seem that Hornsworth was on his own, because he's actually a rat god. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to stay to the side, kind of close to the shadowy area of the building, and just like keep my eye on the door and make okay. sure. Alright, so then this, so Galena goes, busts the door open, and then kind of moves next to the door. Uh, Evelyn goes to the other side, next to the door, and then Hornsworth, you go in with the rat. the rat, tailed by Cynthia. Yeah. And uh, as as the the door goes, boom, you can you can hear it. Um, Heston was working, and then he like he abruptly stops, like what the hell? And then you can hear like rapid footsteps, and as you just enter. He also enters, and he's like, uh, he is going to make a... Do, 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 do. What is he going to make? Perception check. Uh, I need to find the stats for a commoner. Do I have it here? Yes, I do. What is their 
Uh, perception is plus one. All right, let's do that. You rolled very high. <laughs> he, he comes like, what the? Hey, it's you again. What, what the hell are you doing here again? I told you the dagger's going to be done in two days. I would like to use Awakened Mind. Okay, and, uh, and, and w w when you're beginning to say, what the hell is that rat doing? And then you start speaking with him. Yeah. The rat god requests your presence. Is there a... And he, he kind of looks around. He's like, what the hell was that? Did you do that? Uh, I'm, I'm going to speak out loud and say, mm. I am just an attendant to the rat god. And I point down to the rat on the ground. <laughs> the rat is just, like, <laughs> just looking around. Um... <laughs> Roll uh, deception with advantage, because this is quite the... And why then how do why... I... Oh, no. uh, there's a plus there. Why can't I see your dice? Oh, I turned off my 3D dice because they were making my thing very uh, laggy. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. Uh, 18. Okay, he's like... Yeah. The, the, the rat... The rat god? The rat god, yes. Uh, pardon me for... Showing my face again, I I was. To be honest, I didn't need another dagger. I have two right here, and I pull out my other daggers and I put them back into my pouch. And I I mm. uh, I say I I apologize for my deception earlier. I was just I am trying. I I was just working for for my lord here, and and. <laughs> scouting out a location and a potential blacksmith for him uh, for s some of his needs. <laughs> Lord Radigan. And like, <laughs> uh. <laughs> the rat god has some needs. And I'm not, I was... Uh, I'm not gonna fuck the rat. <laughs> I'm not asking you... The... the the physical pleasures were a thing of my own. I it is a it is one of my many vices. I cannot help. It's you know that is has nothing to do with the, my lord himself. Um. It listen, the rat god has taken a bit of an interest in this missing persons case. What, what missing persons? I'm going to use Awakened Mind again, and I'm going to say, mm -hmm. Your daughter, you fool. How did the rat god know? The rat god knows many things. From and outside, he, I would like just be like, The rat god knows all. <laughs> he, he, and I kind of, his like, eyes I widen. Like, Do it with me. Like, Do it with me. <laughs> And Evelyn doesn't. All right. <laughs> I'm just confused. I'm like, oh, no. I. <laughs> the, the, the Heston is very, like, shaken. He's like, what the fuck? It's the voice in my mind and this rat thing. And he's like, yeah, my, my daughter was taken by those fucking dragonborn. Very, you know, I, the, the rat god apologizes, uh, and, you know, is, is, is sorry for the loss of your daughter, and, and, you know, while things, this whole city is his domain, you know, specifically the city underneath the city, if you will, uh, and when things like this come up, he just doesn't normally take a personal, uh, you know, one doesn't want to personally look into things, but it's the rumors have been circulating, and he's just very interested at this point. Uh, and so, <laughs> I want to. Uh, I just want to ask you a few questions on behalf of of my lord here. Uh, All right. I just. Do you, are you financially okay? Are you... I'm doing all right for myself and my daughter. Uh, I would like to use Awakened Mind again and be like, speak the truth. 
<laughs> so yes, I, I'm telling the truth. I'm fine. I'm doing fine yeah. monetarily. No and, problems. And you, you know, there's no. Uh, that's just to say, dragonborn aside, because you know the rat, the rat god here does have his own issues with the dragonborn taking some of his subjects from the cartways. But <laughs> beside that, uh, is there anyone that you? Um, you know, that, that you may owe something to? Is there anyone that... No, I, I always pay has... my debts. I always pay my debts. That's an always. important thing for me. Always pay my debts. And and, and your and your daughter, um... Wonderful, uh... wonderful do daughter. Nothing, nothing, nothing there. I mean, I just to... think about it. Think about it logically, yeah, yeah? Every single of these disappearances that have been happening, always find... Dragonborn tools, Dragonborn weapons, there. And then, same thing with my daughter. Has to be them. There's no there's no question about it. But this fucking City Watch won't do anything. And you can see he's we. he's getting he's getting worked up as he's mm -hmm. explaining that. He's getting angrier and angrier. He's clearly very emotional about his daughter being gone. Like gone. He, it, he, you can see he's getting like very emotional as he's explaining mm. that. Yes, you you mentioned the other uh, disappearances, and it really does trouble us because you know, there's just the city is supposed to be a safe one, even for the, you know, the passageways underneath and for, for all kind here. I just am... And, and trust me, the City Watch, as as a rat god, you know, the City Watch, I feel like rats are they're not very welcomed in the city above ground, and, and that's why this... Um... I, I would just count yourself lucky that the rat god decided to brave the above ground to to take a personal interest in your in your daughter's case uh, uh, th thank you your liege <laughs> and then he, he does like an awkward bow towards radigan <laughs> <laughs> um and i so you you don't have any debts to anyone you said you always no. pay your debts and, and your daughter debts. does she was she, was she different before she disappeared? Was, she, no, was there no, anything? Nothing different, Rosalind. Just, she was, you know, living a normal life with, and with with her husband, and everything was fine. Sorry, there was a very loud car outside. No <laughs> um, uh, I, I, with her husband, I, mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't. I don't believe I've I've heard anything about him specifically. I mm -hmm. he, he's does a he live here? Well. No, no, he, well. he he lives a, across on the east outwards. Uh, they haven't been able to move in yet. They're saving the money, you know. And 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 could I have his his name? I you know. Uh, yes, uh, Victus Turner. Okay. Um. Okay. The rat, and, the rat god's not going to eat me, is he? Um, I would like to use Awakened Mine again mm -hmm. and be like, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, what does he mean by yet? I, listen, my, my lord's ways are his own. I do not know. He I'm scared. <laughs> I... Is there anyone else you think could have information on where your daughter has, has gone, or has anybody that she has frequent contact with? <sighs> no, not that I know of. I mean, I guess the city guard might know something, but they, they we do don't piss trust all. them around they do here. Piss all. You, you think no. they're going to talk to the rat god? Hmm. Hmm. Just between me and your lord, I think I have to take matters into my own hands, you know? Go hmm. square it out with the dragonborn myself. I, I think that may not be necessary let's i we will not leave any stone unturned but i i would like to try and have you put your faith in us that we will bring this matter and we will resolve this matter and hopefully return your daughter to you all right <clears throat> and I am 
I'm going to just, I guess, uh, I, I know you said other people have been going missing. Is there anyone uh, that you can maybe, you maybe know off the top of your head? Sorry, I, I spend a lot of my time in, in the underground here. I, I'm not quite familiar with a lot of the going-ons. Uh, on the side, I just, is there anyone else that you think that we could talk to that maybe has had a family member or loved one go missing? No, I don't know the others who are missing, just mm -hmm. people, I guess. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, before I part, I just would like to uh, and encourage you to keep this encounter between those that are in this room at the moment. Uh, the rat god likes to work in his own ways and does not want to be impeded by the City Watch, or perhaps any others that may take it upon themselves to look into what he's doing. Right, of course. M Mum's the word, as, as they say. Yeah. Uh, and I want to use Awakened Mind mm -hmm. and just say, keep this quiet or you will be my next meal. Yes, of, yes, of course. Right, Lord, sir, sire. <laughs> and he like, uh, awkwardly yes. bows. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we will be on our way. Okay. And, and I will... Leave. I will... Walk... <laughs> I don't know if anyone has seen Avatar Last Airbender, but there's the, the part where Sokka leaves and he's like, Water Tribe. I'm just like, yeah. Rat God. <laughs> and I back out. <laughs> 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 and I will bring... Ooh. I will... Bring the rat with amazing, me. amazing. Okay, you leave and and uh, as you <laughs> exit, you hear the what the fuck just happened? By the by the nine L's, what the fuck? You hear that as you leave? <laughs> what a day for an unsuspecting black. <laughs> <laughs> what a day. That went well. No, that that was actually I couldn't have asked for anything better actually. I think we found that Hornsworth is only good when he's the rat god. <laughs> cool. The rat god, and it makes him makes him strong. Yeah, I take um... notes, Hornsworth. Unrelated, is there any way that I could, over time, learn to speak Goblin? Yes. Uh, okay. she, there is a way, I would say. Yes, okay. over time. Um... I'd have to look into like what the mecha mechanically how it would work. How it um, works. In theory, I guess Evelyn could teach you. I would mm -hmm. say, because the problem with Goblinoid is that it's not a well documented language. The language, yeah. It's it's <laughs> not one of the. Oh, actually, let me check. Where we do I have it? We were discussing oh. this in my other campaign on whether or not is Goblin a written language. <laughs> um, I would say that it is. I would say no, somewhat. Okay. It depends, because Goblinoid is not just spoken by goblins, it is spoken by Goblinoid creatures. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say, like, goblins, for example, are are not a people who, like, keep written records. They're an oral, mm -hmm. oral people. But I would say, like, other, like, of the standard races, like, have studied Goblinoid and have written about it. But it's okay. not, like, widely written about. Um but yes, it's it just, is. Uh, it's possible that to I would want to yes. attain throughout sure. time. I'll I'll look into the, the me mechanics wise how that would work. But yes, okay. I'm, I can. I would say that yes, over time it is possible for you to learn language, but it's gonna take a, it's gonna take time. Okay. Um, shall we? I feel like I have to keep up my end of the bargain. Take this rat rat home here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Um, okay. is there any way for one of you to speak to the rat? Not speak, but like, you know, give commands as you did before and... Either me or Evelyn can do it. What do you yeah. want, uh, what do you want Ratigan to, uh, to do? Or whatever. I think I, I just let him know, um, that I appreciate what he's done for me and that I am going to return him to his home. And that hopefully, if I ever need him again, I can call upon him. And there is a big 
tasty fat leg of meat waiting for him for when I would also love to like get him like a little treat on our way back to the cartways. Like a little that, like yep. big like like you know like the leg of like a full cow. It's like I give him that or something like Sure. Like subtract two copper from yourself. Um <laughs> I, I can't I don't have any copper. I only have You can just try you can just like I... change one silver to uh I think one silver is ten copper. Oh okay. Um, if I recall the trend, uh, let's you. see. I'm really bad with the conversions on these. Uh, and I think before the other meat was another two, so that's six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copper that I have. Okay. Uh, Perfect. Uh, oh. I'm going to go back into the blacksmith really quick and just be like, oh, by the way, I really don't need that dagger. Can I have my two gold back? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, okay. And he gives you your two gold back. I hadn't uh, started but I working know. yet. Yes. Uh, if the rat god ever needs, you know, armor or something, I know where to come. Right. Understood. All right. I'm going to put him. And I'm going to rat god. Rat god. Rat god. I love that. <sighs> oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right. Well, you got your money well, back. And yeah, it's it's uh, one one silver is ten copper. Okay, perfect. It follows uh, that. Uh, what do you do next? So you, you got we... your you got your you you send Radigan into a random sewer <laughs> passage because you're like yeah okay I guess this is how you do it and then yeah you say you say the long thing to Radigan and it kind of just looks at looks at you with uh its beady rat eyes and then you point like that way and then just psh, scurries away oh rat again i shed like a single tear <laughs> oh, sad no. i won't, won't have my I rat in my office remember anymore remember you <laughs> <laughs> um amazing okay. absolutely amazing uh so if we would like to we could go talk to Quarrel. We could also potentially go to Victus, I think is what his name was. Uh, uh, Victus, yeah, Victus was the name of the husband. The husband, yeah. Uh -huh. I feel like he's also a good place to start for some information. Um, I think, if possible, City Watch should be our last stop. If we even need to talk to them. Hopefully we don't, but... Yeah, I mean, they do, they do have Rick's knife. But we won't be able to get that for quite some time. That's gonna have to be, I think, a later, um, later thing. Maybe we can. Well, we would have to have a reason to go. We can't just show up at the husband's house, can we? Like, do we? Should we have like a reason to be there? Or I don't know. I. Question, I guess. For fondue, is mm -hmm. this now properly one of my cases? Like, would this be like a proper? I that's for you to decide. I think. Like, do you consider okay. this a proper case of yours? Because I have a feat that is called oh. official inquiry, mm. and it's uh, basically I'm experienced at gaining access to people and places to get the info I need. Um, let me check. Let me check. Yeah. But yeah, I, I I would say like this is your a, a case of yours. Yes. Yeah. Your experience is getting access to people and places to get information you need through a combination of fast talking, determination, official looking documentation. You can get access to a place or an individual related to a crime you're investigating. Mm -hmm. Those who aren't involved in your investigation avoid impeding you or pass along your requests. Mm -hmm. I can put the the info in there. That's the info in chat. So yeah, yeah I just, in stream I just, can see just, it. Okay, there you go, stream. Oh, yeah. yeah, you can, like, I would say in this case, that would probably give you access to, like, the the city guard. Okay. The city, the city watch, I mean, like, getting information from them probably would be what this could give you. Okay. I mean, you can just go talk to Victus. He's, he's just a person. You don't need specific, like, permission to get to him. This is This would be more like trying to get to somewhere where you're not... Like allowed to go, normally okay. Normally allowed to go or access to some information that you, as a civilian, wouldn't be able to get. So it would probably have to do with the city watch, I would say. Um. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Then maybe we can just go chat, and then you know this could be our last, last thing here, like last case scenario. 
last mm-hmm. ditch effort. Uh, we could remember. we could try and see Evictus if he has an, any answers. Or I just think he might be our best bet because he's was close to was her name is it Rosalind? Uh, Ro- yeah, Rosal- Rosalind with a Z. Rosalind with a Z. Okay, yeah. Rosalind, so I th- uh, Turner. No, was it Turner? Was it? That's it Victus' Turner. last That's name. Yeah, Turner. Yeah, yeah Turner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. I, I think that maybe he's probably the closest that we're going to get uh, to just more information at this point. Yeah, maybe Yeah, maybe he has some outstanding debts I, or something. I yeah. think, yeah, I don't think there's a debt on the, uh, you know, something that's outstanding with the blacksmith himself. So I think that it may be is either focused towards the dragonborn or it is something to do with Victus himself, so. In my professional opinion. <laughs> Alright, then I think that's that's where we should go. Mm-hmm. Alright, so you're, you're gonna go see Victus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Um, you, As you realize that you don't actually know where he is, you pop by the store once again, and you're like, where does Victus live? And he tells you that, or where he's like a cobbler that lives on uh, the east. Uh, Outersteads. So. Thing. You go Raptor there. Thanks you for your service. <laughs> he he just like looks at you, scaredly. And, yeah. So you head head there. You find his um his his shop. Where he does his cobbling, and uh, yeah, seems to be at work there, currently. Shall we just go for it? I don't know. I don't think we need to have much of a plan here. We can just, I guess, have a conversation with him. Yeah, we could knock on the door or something. Cobblers are the ones that do shoes, right? Oh, yes. oh. I don't remember. Sure. I don't know. Yeah. Cool. You can uh, just go in then, right? Yeah, you see yeah. a yeah. store with a little sign with a shoe that's kind of like broken on it. Oh. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll just knock on and knock on the. Mm-hmm. Door. I guess we'll just walk in. I don't know if you we just walk in. Yeah, yeah we'll you walk, walk in. in. Yeah, it's a store. Mm-hmm. And there's a, a young man there with with dark hair, um, like a slender build, um, looking kind of tired and uh, w- like just tired in general. And he's like hmm. working on some shoe stuff, and he's like, <sighs> "Yes, hi. What can I do for you?" Uh, Victus, I presume? Yes, I'm Victus. What do you want? Um, he I at, he have... He looks at the shoe and he's like, No, I'm gonna have to redo this soul. Hmm. I, I am here on behalf of... I don't want to say rat god. Um... <laughs> I'm not to be the rat god here. Uh, I have been hired by an outside uh, a third party shall we say to investigate some certain matters that pertain to your wife's dif- disappearance and then he like kind of snaps like my who was who interested in my, my wife's disappearance i let's just say it is a third party that has a lot of stakes in this city and the disappearances have become maybe one too many. And so I've been hired to take a look into things beyond what the City Watch does because we Do both Do you know, know where she is? And he, he kind of like, he kind of springs uh, we're, up. We're we're working on it. There is, uh, my, my party- he, 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 he like, he, he slumps down like, uh, disappointed. Yes. I'm, I know that this is probably a very hard thing for you to deal with and a very <laughs> long process because you don't have your closure yet, per se. You're right. So, is it okay if I just ask you a few questions? Sure. I don't know what else. I can tell you that I didn't tell the city guard already, but sure. Well, I'm. let's just say that I am acting as someone... Uh, different from the city guard themselves because I'm sure that they've come up about as empty handed as you could expect. Yeah, useless. Yeah. What the hell are they here for? Uh, scratching their balls. I don't know. 
Um, I just, I, I just would like to know, did, was Rosalyn any different before she disappeared? Was she same old, same old, was she, you she know? was normal, she was normal, nothing, it was just, we saw each other the previous, previous day as usual, we went, went, went for a walk, it, everything was normal. She, she didn't mention anyone else, didn't, uh, you know, talk about, like, I don't know, didn't just... She was entirely normal. Uh, uh, not, nothing different at all? Yes, entirely okay. normal. Yes, nothing special. I told this to the City Watch as well. Yes, 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 I'm sorry. I, I, you know, I don't mean to make you repeat such, uh... I'm sure this is very hard for you to relive over and over again. <sighs> you have no uh, idea. Um, can't believe the gods put me through this. They, you know, they work in mysterious ways. <sighs> um, do you yourself have any deaths, any enemies, anyone that, you know, is, is would be trying to, to get to you specifically? Um, mm, no. We've I, already... No. I'm I'm an honest man. I I earn my trade with my cobbling. It's not much, but I, I want to I want to do this honestly. I want to I want to get a home for me and Rosalind. Honestly, I don't want to get mixed up in the underworld with the myriad and the like. Yes, yes, and and you you have been doing this all honestly. You've been yes. Okay. Um. Is he? Can I? Is he telling the, the truth? Can I tell if he's telling Roll the truth? Roll an inside check. Yeah. Nat 20! <laughs> Very nice. Hornsworth is finally good for something. <laughs> Other than being the rat god. Mm. He's gonna be a horny as well. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> uh, yes, he, he doesn't seem to be lying. He seems... Like, like I said before, he seems exhausted. Uh, just, like... You can tell that he's really stressing the disappearance of his wife. And you imagine that that's kept him up a few nights. And he's clearly frustrated that nothing has come of it yet. But he doesn't seem to be lying. Um... I... You said you, you, the day before she disappeared, you took a walk. Did, where, where were you... Is it like a, a routine that you have to go on, on walks together? Is this we like go, a, usually go on walks together? Yes, and you don't have, have like any a set route or no. We just walk wherever. Okay. Um. Some, so where? Uh, sometimes we go to the. Sometimes we go to the park in the west, outer stead. Sometimes in the in the inter stead. Okay. Uh, we don't have specific routes. We just just wherever. Yeah. Okay. Um and Okay. And has any like um any of the Myrid um tried to come to you at all at any point in time, try to recruit you in any way? Uh, yeah, of course sometimes the the myriad we will bump into a myriad member in a bar or something, but I try to stay stay clear away from them. I don't want any business with the myriad. You know, good, once, good. once they get a little bit of you, you're you're done for. They, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. Mm. But not uh, like specifically like trying to be in your space no, or anything. No, I, I stay clear away from them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and the the night, the day before, where where did you? I'm sorry if you already told me this. Um, where did you? Uh. Where were you walking with Rosalind the day before? Uh, the park in the the West Otterstead. Okay. Thank you. Um. Weird question. Do I have business cards? <laughs> Not as such. I no. Mean, like, you uh, could like get some. some. Sort of, I feel like I should. Um. I'm you get just like going pamphlets. To... You can get like pamphlets of yourself, yeah, but you don't. Think... You don't have any at the moment. You've yeah. so far you've relied on word of mouth. Um, kind of 
bars I... are usually a good place to kind of go try to suss out people who are having woes and you okay know. um so uh victor i i feel like i maybe have the info i need for you. i don't want to put you through the ringer once again entirely here but um uh, maybe I'll just like point him to my my where my office location is. Mm -hmm. and I'll be like, if you have anything that maybe comes to mind that you remember, that you think about, uh, you can you can slip a you know can write it down and slip a, a pad through my, sure. my door here in my office. Uh, Unfortunately, and... I wish I had more information. Yeah, you have no idea yeah. how much I wish for it, but I don't know anything. She well, she was she's just gone. And I don't know why yeah. and. You can you can hear like kind of sorrow in his voice and kind of a of the lump in his throat. I don't know how to say that in English, but you know when you're like almost yeah. break breaking tears and your throat gets a bit like you know I, uh, scratchy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know we're gonna we're gonna do our best to bring her back. Thank you. And I'm gonna I'm gonna head out unless anybody else has anything else that. No, I don't think he's got anything else, so I'm gonna follow you out. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I am. I am particularly. Uh, I feel like where Victus is reminds me a lot of where I've been mm -hmm. in my like recent days. So I just, I'm, I've, I'm definitely much more. Uh, I've gone from rat god to to very like low key, very quiet. Mm. Kind of. It hit you home. Mm hmm. But. Mm. Well, I feel like we've done a lot. Maybe we should, like, head to the tavern, maybe get some food. I don't know if there's. It's not any... that late yet. It's like. It's not that late. It's still daytime. Like, again, like, you talked with him for a while, but it didn't take a huge amount of time. Mm -hmm. um, Where yeah, else so you, could we go? So you, so you can still go to the, the City Watch, and then you have Corel to talk to. I'm so, like, hesitant to go towards the city watch. Um, maybe we speak with Corel. Where's we have to get in touch with Brick to get in touch with Corel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And where are we in? Where are we at now in location in, the, in reference to the tavern? Uh, you're like a half an hour walk from the tavern. Oh, okay. So we can we can go. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So yeah, you I get go food to eat and then. See Grab some and... lunch. Yeah, <laughs> lunch. Get a little bit of lunch. Sure. You go to the, the 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 rampant roach. You get some lunch, and Brick actually bring, brings you the lunch. 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 <laughs> lunch. Lunch. Uh, hi. Uh, how's your your day been today? I've just been working here, so no protection today. Mm. Uh, Uncle asked me to stay here today. We've been we've been uh. Doing all right, Brick. Doing good. Okay. I'm glad you're having a good day. Yeah. Hopefully your work's not been too bad for you. No, it's not uh, too bad. I'm I'm glad I can help, Uncle. Yeah. Sorry for no no badass lessons today. Maybe maybe mm. we can do some maybe a little bit later. We can. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we could we could. I don't know. We'll find something to do. We can wow. we can hang out yeah. later. Maybe. Yeah. I feel you know it feels weird not hanging out with you all day when uh. I know. Yes. But, well, you know, have a few other things that we have to tie up loose end wise. Uh, okay. Just on some of our other things. Oh, speaking of, do you, is there a way that we could get in contact with Corel? Uh, sure. I can, she's probably, she's probably working right now. So I could take you to her, um, her shop. She works at a, yeah. she work, works at like a general store. During the um, day. Okay. If you would want to just point us in the direction, I don't want to tear you away from the oh, work that you've okay. got to do. If that's okay, like. Of course. Well, um, I'll. We'll definitely hang out later. We'll, you know, we'll talk about being badasses together. It's yeah, great. Yeah. I'll tell you about some. Uh, I've got some wild stories from today. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I can't wait to hear them. Yeah. Oh uh, yes, she works at this the. The general general store um, in the center of the West Outerstead. Don't 
outer stead, like seven different ways. It might not. It's as long like, as you understand it. Yeah. Um. Okay. I think that sounds good. I think we'll just mm-hmm. tuck into our lunch and. Cool. You head to the the general store, and yeah, there's a general store. You, you come outside. It has like um in in its window, you know, basic necessities. Uh, some basic tools, what have you, on the other window, and uh, it seems to be fairly lively. There are some people in there. Um, yeah. Uh, shall we? Shall we go in? Yeah, I'll go in first. Mm-hmm. As you enter, um, you notice there are the Quarrel is at the the front desk. Uh, he's she's just taking money from some some people who are do, making a purchase. Uh, hello, Corel. Uh, oh, uh, uh, hello, hello. Sorry, I'll be with you in, in two seconds. Yes, and then no worries. She finishes uh, taking the customers' uh, money and then giving them their stuff to them, and then she comes over to you and and she's like, "Oh, what what can I do for you? Are you looking to buy some general goods?" Here on some other business pertaining to our mutual contact and she's like Rick. <laughs> she she she, un- she understands she's like kind of looks around she's like tell you what let's go for a little walk shall we okay. and then uh okay. she goes to like another dragonborn there and then just like you see her speaking and and, and the, an older dragonborn uh male with, with uh uh Green scales, and he's like, you see him shake his head, and then, then she comes to you. Hey, let's go, let's go walk. Let's go. And then you, um, you go walk, and then uh, she leads you on into like these smaller streets, and she's like, so, what did you want to discuss? Well, uh, Skirtal has asked us to take the day away from our protection hey. detail. And see? start looking into matters uh, in our own way. Mm-hmm. Because as we know, the City Watch is good for nothing. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, and they don't care about our kind. Mm-mm. No, they do not. Um, and I guess I just am trying. We're just, we've been gathering a lot of information today. It's been kind of really our main goal. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I just, is there anything that you, any, I guess, theories you might have, any mm-hmm. information, really? We, we've we talked to both Evictus, uh, Rosalind's husband, and mm-hmm. her father as well, mm. um, and have gathered minimal information, but really... It seems they don't know much. I've... Mm-mm. I've also been on this case. Uh, Koto Cragclaw asked me to look into this, and who am I to say no to our family head? Mm. Uh, I was lucky enough to get to the scene of the crime before the city watched it. Oh, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm uh, resourceful in, in my own ways. But yes, I was there, and... I was able to find some footprints before the locals stomped all over the place and ruined it. Mm. And they were boots from the looks of it. I followed these boots, of course, and they led to various seedy establishments. So I went inside, talked to the patrons, some more nice than others, Mm-hmm. And I was able to locate the person the next day. I was able to find a person whose tracks matched the f- that, that following day. Mm. And I followed this person. They went into the cartways. And... I went there to follow them. Unfortunately, in the cartways, they eluded me as they entered a 
very obscure section of the cardways, which house an old catacomb. Mm. Not many go there. It is the deeper you get into the cardways, the more dangerous it gets. So, yes, yes. I had to stop there, but of course, I, I told Koto about this. Mm -hmm. So, and I've been looking, trying to find more information since, but little luck, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, did you get a good look at the person that you were tracking? Did you... Any descriptors? Any... Unfortunately, no. They were wearing a cloak over their head. Mm -hmm. Human size, though. Humanoid, at least. Um, mm -hmm. Human size, so not a halfling or a goblin. Or a gnome. No offense, of course. None taken. But... More than that, I can't say. Most likely male, from okay. the looks of the, the foot size. What? So, they the footsteps that you found, they led mm -hmm. up to the window, up to the yep. building where the they, they were then... outside. Yes, they were outside the window, so I would, and they were heavy, so I would presume they were carrying someone. They were carrying someone, okay. I was going to ask if there was a second. No second um, footsteps, uh, footprints. Okay. And and some of the CD establishments you went to. Mm -hmm. Um, what, do you have names of some of them? Just I, I trust your work thoroughly, mm -hmm. but just to you know, leave no stone unturned, sort of thing. Of course, of course. Um, uh, let me check the names for you. Uh, where is Aristide? One of them is, uh, the Leaky Tap. Mm -hmm. Other is the... The Laughing Knoll. And the Crazy Goblin. Been a few of those in my day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um... Okay. So what were you able to find out? I've been really, I guess, mostly sniffing out motive here. Mm. And and I guess I, I think this what you've told us really has kind of put the nail in the in the coffin, so to speak, that I, I don't I think that it may be the myriad, especially if you found them mm. going down to the cartways. It's a I possibility. Feel like but is there any connection it's, to the myriad? Uh, we're just we've been really fumbling around with motive uh recently and and you know I don't think the motive is connected to the blacksmith himself. I don't think it's connected to her husband. I think it's it's just like these other disappearances. Yeah. Unconnected to anything it seems very random. No. Yet they're yeah. all pinned to our people. So I think it's something to deal with. Someone taking a, a... But we don't have a... Not that I know of, at least. But I don't, I don't know that any of our families have a particularly bad relationship with the Myriad. Yeah, Some yeah. One of them even has a fairly good relationship with the Myriad, so... It seems counterproductive for the Myriad to go after us. Yeah. I mean, is there... That's kind of, I guess, just been our... our first thought, but is there anyone that seems to particularly have taken an issue with your kind more so than just being... Yeah, no, it's... The racism has grown as the disappearances have grown. So yeah, there's no one in particular that is extremely racist. You know, it... Yeah. It shifts, it changes, of course, a, a large population of a new type of people coming to a city. You know how it is. Yeah. I guess I'm just trying to wrap my head around who, who oh. in the city... Trust me, so am I. Yeah. And so is, so is Koto. Everyone. It doesn't yeah. seem to make sense. That's... The bothersome part here is that there doesn't seem to be any motive. 
The people that are being kidnapped are random, yet we are mm -hmm. being we are being pinned as the scapegoats. Have I don't understand who and why are, would do that. It's, I don't think it's the myriad, as I said. Is it someone in, in would... a like? Is it a political move? By someone, I'm, I, you know, I'm not very well versed in a lot of the politics of the city. Uh, beyond, you know, maybe, maybe but it, again. the politics currently is pretty occupied with, well, there's been um, rising tensions between the Menagerie Coast and the Dwendalian Empire. Yeah, and of course, the the Kryn Dynasty. Of course, there's. Rumors of war at the border. Hmm. So, so I, I, just... I would find it hard for someone here to be so focused on getting rid of us when there's a lot of bigger things moving. The other dragonborn that have been pinned for crimes, are they across all three clans? Are they... Yes, they they're are. found in all three? Okay. And, and have you... I'm, have you looked into those more so than... It's not my business to go into the other family's business unless That's, they yeah, specifically nice. ask us. They have not. Okay. Um, could I... Is there... I don't want to overstep my boundaries, but is there mm -hmm. a way that we could potentially speak with the other families just to... Mm hopefully gather some more information per chance or to just get an insight into how they... I'll speak they... with Koto. I'll speak yeah. with Koto. It's... We respect each other, but we stay out of each other's business. Or, yeah. So I'll, yeah. I'll speak to Koto. See what we can get. Okay. Yes. I'll... I'll, f I'll find you this evening. Okay. In the Rampant Roach. Sounds... Yeah. I told Brick would hang out, so you know. That's where you'll find me. <laughs> he does seem to like you quite a lot. That's... <laughs> I couldn't imagine why. <laughs> and she smiles and is like, that's very nice. Um, <laughs> it's not been an easy life for us here, so... It's nice to, for him to have these experiences. I'm very grateful. Well, I am just to do in my... Uh -huh. She looks you I all guess. over and kind of looks like, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I should get back to work, though. Yes, sorry, we've kept you probably far too Not long. Not at all. I understand. Uh, I'll see you in the evening, then. Yeah, and if we find anything else uh, until then, we will let you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, she get heads off. I don't have a hat. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get a hat. I should get a I should write that down in my notes. I should get a hat. Buy a hat. <laughs> Business cards hat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh it is starting to be Around the time when some stores like the earliest stores are starting to close. So it is getting towards the end of the working day. Mm. Would you all like to return to the tavern for now, or should we try our hand with the city watch and see what kind of information we can gather from them? Maybe we can save that for a new day and just go back to the tavern. Yeah, that works for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. You head back to the tavern and you arrive there, busy as usual after work. People are coming to have their dinner, etc., etc., socialize. And, uh, um, why did his name just. Skirtal. Jesus. <laughs> I was just like, what's the name? My brain just blanked. And he's like, ah! And he kind of like, he, he kind of motions you over and is like, so did you, uh, what did you find? Did you find out anything? Any, any good news? Uh, d no news is good news. And he's like, not <laughs> really in this case. Yeah, no. But uh, I appreciate you tried. We're, we're, uh, there's still a few, a few leads that we need to. That's always good. Leads are good. Yeah. 
Um, don't, don't tell Brick, of course. Please. No, don't. no, no. That's he's, so he's... Listen, all Brick knows. As long as far as Brick knows, we're just. I'm going to gather more badassery lessons. So. <laughs> good. Very good. Now I will get you dinner and drink. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Very That's good. good. And uh, he brings this time. It's like a steak with some potatoes and like, like some 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 uh, vegetables. Okay, skirts all. Mm -hmm. Okay, I he don't like cooking vegetables. <laughs> Literally five years old. Ew, greens. Uh, I don't want that. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I'm just gonna ink. start eating. I would mm -hmm. like some it's, coffee it's as well. I don't care how late it is, if I could get some bean water. <laughs> sure. Absolute degenerate. <laughs> sure. I have a feeling Hornsworth might be staying up a bit late tonight to, to pour over. No, you got like you got like the fucking the the the, cli yeah. the clipboard with like the lines going from one thing to the other. Absolutely. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> um so you're having your your dinner, and then Corel appears very quietly mm. <laughs> next to you. Good evening. Hello. I think I'm just becoming more and more infatuated with her. <laughs> I'm just like, I think she's so cool. <laughs> <clears throat> and she she sits she sits with you and kind of looks you all over, and then I would like to. <clears throat> sorry. I would like to extend a formal invitation from the head of our family, Koto Cragclaw. And that's where we're going to leave it for today. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is where we're going to end today's uh, session. Thank you very much, everyone. That was fun. Wow. Ah! That was a... That was good. And congratulations for reaching level two. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Wait, you really? Yay! You're now level two. We can do the leveling up off hey. off stream. Uh, it's yeah, it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be quick. We can if you don't mind, we can do it after uh, yeah. I end the stream because it's um, it's not a lot of work because it's it's only level two. Sounds good to me. Yeah. All right, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, so the next episode of Dice and Easy Episode 3 is going to be on the 25th of September at 7 p.m. Central European time, which is whatever it is in your time zone. And uh, we're going to continue from, from here. So it's going to be here again on my channel. And then, of course, this VOD is going to be on my YouTube channel on Monday and then on podcast services on Monday as well. Let's raid into someone. I'm going to see who's doing the old dungeoning and dragoning. Critical Bard is going again. I think that's an that's yeah. a great great one to raid into because they're also doing a a uh, Exandria campaign. So yeah, let's go yeah. let's go give him some love, shall we? Their raids might be off though. I'll try. Last time it worked. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll try. Last time it was weird though. First it didn't work and then it did work. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, they mm. might be off due to <laughs> Certain things on Twitch. <laughs> uh, okay, the the, the uh, Twitch climate. <laughs> yes. Let's say there's been some there's been some climate change. Mm, yes. Uh, let's try again because it said like that didn't work for some reason. Try again. Uh, yeah, I think it's turned off. Okay, so I will find someone else then. Uh, who's next? Let's try. Let's go say hi to Brett Ultimus. I think they're they are running. Dungeons and Dragons, but it's it's like a custom a custom game set in the Monster Hunter world, I think. Oh, that's so cool. I think. I'm not entirely sure, but because I follow them on Twitter and I know that one of their campaigns is like set in mm. Monster Hunter world. I'm not sure if it's this one. So let's go say hi to them. Boom and bam. There we go. All right, everyone, get in there, yeah, yeah. get ready. Let's go say hi to Brett Ultimus. All right, everyone, thanks a lot. We'll see you again on September 25th, 7 p.m. Central European time on this old Twitch channel. If you, you should follow, if you're not following already, then you'll get notified when I go live. Uh, in the meantime, oh, snap, I should get our, our uh, hold on. <gasps> I didn't have it ready. Wah. Uh, 
Uh, where's the invitations? There, invites. No, I can't get it from here. <laughs> I wish I would have prepared. Where's the invite thing? No, here. Wait, it's here, right? Oh, for the server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get the invite, but I don't know how to get it on Twitch. I mean, uh, where is it? Invite someone? Invite people. Uh, oh, that's the you one. You got it? Yep. So there's our, okay. our Discord. You can jump in there and hang out with us. Please do. Would love to see you there. Post fun memes. Talk with us. We'll, of course, post there when we go live. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for the stream. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you later. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Uh, let me just see that this went the raid went through yeah yeah yes it did okay and